You are welcome in Jesus' name. Shall we pray? Blessed be the name. Blessed be the name. Blessed be the name. Oh Lord. Blessed be the name. To your name. Blessed be the name, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name. Blessed be the name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, blessed be the name, honor to your name. Blessed be the name, oh Lord, hallelujah, blessed be the name, Father. Blessed be the name, God of chosen. Blessed be the name, O Lord. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name, God of chosen. Honor to your Blessed be the name. Oh Lord, honor to your name, all glory to your name, all power to your name, oh God, blessed be your name, honor to your name. Hosanna in your name. Father, we worship you, Lord. Blessed be the name. Oh, God, we worship you. We praise your name. Blessed be the name. Lion of Judea. Your name. Blessed be the name. Oh, Lord, blessed be your name. 
Blessed be your name. Honor to your name. Honor to your name. Oh God, we worship you, Lord. Blessed be the name, Lion of Judah. Blessed be the name. Blessed be the name. Oh Lord. Almighty Father, we worship you this morning. Holy, honor, blessed be thy name. Be thou exalted. Thank you for what you are doing in our midst. Thank you for the great calling upon our daddy. May the name of the Lord be praised forever in Jesus' name. I don't to this shall the garden of your people be. As we gather this morning in your presence, O oh Lord, we pray, come and take preeminence. For on our own, we can do nothing. I pray that as many that are coming on their way, that they are praying that you hasten their footsteps. Take over, O oh Lord, that at the end of today, your name shall be glorified. Renew and transform us, O oh Lord. Do a new thing in our lives today. At the end, your name shall be glorified. We cover everywhere with the blood of Jesus. For in Jesus' most wonderful name we pray. Choose in praise the Lord. If you have a testament to share with us of what God has done for you in our previous meetings and crusades, the privilege is for you now to go to our testament interviewers. They will, test, they will interview you and the, the grace to testify shall be given unto you. Remember the testimony is for you. The glory be unto our God. Choose in praise the Lord. You are all welcome in Jesus' name. The God of choosing will see you through today. You cannot go home the same. Choose in praise the Lord. Amen, amen. Blessings and glory. Wisdom, thanksgiving. And honor. Power and might. Be unto the Lord. Forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. Blessings and glory, and honor, power and might be unto the Lord forever and ever. Amen, amen, hallelujah. Blessings and glory, hallelujah, and honor. Our might be unto the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen, amen. Blessings and glory, wisdom, thanksgiving, and honor. Our might be unto the Lord forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. I don't know. Power and might be unto the Lord forever and ever. Your hands, clap your hands this way. Amen, amen. Blessings and glory, wisdom, thanksgiving, and honor, power and might be unto the Lord forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Blessings and glory. Be unto the Lord forever and ever. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Father, we are saying thank you, Jesus. Father, we are saying thank you, God of chosen. Father, we are saying thank you, Jesus. For your greatness, I will be your name. 
We are saying thank you, Jesus. Father, we are saying thank you, God of choosing. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Father, we are saying thank you, Jesus. Father, Baba, we are saying thank you, Jesus. Father, we are saying thank you, our find Omega. Father, we are saying thank you, Jesus. Father, for your greatness, hallowed be your name. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Father, we are saying thank you, our find Omega. Baba. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Father, we are saying thank you, God of choosing. Baba, we are saying thank you, Jesus. Father, we are saying thank you, Father, Father. Baba, we are saying thank you, Jesus. Your hands, Mary, have a testimony to share with us. Me, the testimony interviewers. There is need for you to testify to the glory of the Lord. Your hands. Your hands unto the Lord. Covenant keeping God, there is no one like you. I found Omega. Father, there is no one like you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No one like you. The God of choosing. Lion of Judah, there is no one like you. Covenant keeping father, there is no one like you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, the God of choosing, Father, there is no that covenant keeping God. Hallelujah. Your hands unto the Lord. Lion of Judah, there is no one like you. That covenant keeping father, there is no one like you. Hallelujah. We worship you, Father, the God of choosing. Clap your hands and sing unto the Lord. Your hands. That covenant keeping father, there is no one like you. I found Omega, Jesus, there is no one like you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father. He don't call it a pastor. There is no one like you. The covenant keeping father. There is no one like you. Hallelujah. Your hands, unchanging changer, there is no one like you. The covenant keeping father, there is no one like you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, no one like you. Your hands, your hands, your hands. The God of choosing, there is no one like you. The covenant keeping father, there is no one like you. Hallelujah. The covenant keeping father, no one, no one like you. Immortal Redeemer, father, there is no one like you. Hallelujah. Father, 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 no one like you. I am what I am. Oh, miracle worker, there is no one like you. He don't call it a pastor, there is no one like you. Hallelujah. Finally, no one like you. God, the covenant keeping father, oh. 
There is no one like you. Oh, the God of choosing. Father, there is no one like you. Hallelujah. Father, Father, no one like you. Joyce, Joyce. Unchangeable God, unchangeable God, reliable God, reliable God, only you can do what no man can do. Unchangeable God, reliable God, only you can do what no man can do, what no man can do. Unchangeable God, reliable God. Only, only you, oh, what no man can do. Hallelujah. Father, Father, Father. Reliable God, only you can do. I want you to clap unto him, your hands. Unchangeable Father. Reliable God, only you can do. Oh, what no man can do. Unchangeable God. Reliable God, Papa, only you can do oh, what no man can do, what no man can do. Abba Father, reliable God, reliable God. Clap your hand and sing in expectation. Hallelujah. Unchangeable God, reliable God, only you can do. One no man can't, one no man can do today, today. Reliable God, only you, only you, eh. one no man can do, one no man can do. Oh. Unchangeable God, clap and sing in expectation. Hallelujah, one no man, your hands, your hands. Unchangeable God, changeable God, reliable God, reliable God, only you can do what no man can do. Baba, unchangeable God, reliable God, Papa, only you can do what no man can do, what no man can do. Unchangeable God, reliable God. Only you, eh? God of choosing, only, only you. Unchangeable God, reliable God. Yes, anyway, what no man can, what no man can do. Unchangeable God, reliable God. Only you, eh? Naniki, you you, Baba. Unchangeable God. Reliable God, yes, anyway, one no man, I say one no man can do all the impossibility in your life today, that God have chosen, only you, eh? only you, only, only you, unchangeable God, reliable God, only you, Baba, clap your hand unto him, your hands. Father, unchangeable God, reliable God, only you can do what no man can do. Baba, unchangeable God, reliable God, Father, only you can do what no man can do. What no man can do, unchangeable God, Lion of Judah. Only you, only you, oh, oh, what no man can do, unchangeable God, unchangeable God, Lion of Judah, only you, Jesus, I say what no man can do, unchangeable God, reliable God, sing in expectation and clamp unto the Lord, hallelujah, Father, 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 Reliable Father. Father, what no man can do. Unchangeable God. Reliable God. Only you, eh? I say, what no man can do. Unchangeable God. The God of the truth is unchangeable. He will visit you today. 
I say what no man can do. Unchangeable God, reliable God. Only you, only you, only you. What no man can do, my father. Unchangeable God, reliable God. Only you can do. Your hands are too long. Your hands, your hands. Father, unchangeable God, changeable God, reliable God, reliable God, only you can do what no man can do. Papa, unchangeable God, reliable God, Father, only you can do what no man can do. What no man can do. Unchangeable God, unchangeable God, sing it. Only you can do. What no man can do, unchangeable God, reliable God, only you can do, what no man can do, we are on the long side, low side, low side, we are on the low side, our victory is sure, amen. We are on the Lord's side of victory is shown. Amen. Choosing praise the Lord. Today, God of choosing will walk on us. We have come into the palace of the great king, the God of choosing, the God that has the answer, the God that changes situation, the God that can do what no man can do. In this meeting today, I'm assuring you, it will register a new miracle in your life. I'd like us to clap onto him. Let's appreciate him. Thank you, Father. Please be seated. Please be seated. I'd like to remind everyone that it is the pattern of the church. Whenever we are offering praises unto God, we should be seated. Let's take note of that. And if you are there, you have testimonies of what the God of Chosen has done in your life in our previous meeting, Fellowship Crusade. Or maybe God of Chosen visited you at home and you have a testimony to that effect. We'd like to hear your testimony today. We'd like to hear what the God of Chosen has done for you. So quickly go to my left hand side. We have the testimony interviewers. They will have a brief interview with you, and after which they will permit you to share your testimony today. So go quickly to my left-hand side, meet with the testimony interviewers. The opportunity will be given to you to testify. The Bible says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he has redeemed from the hand of the enemies. The Bible says, what shall I render to the Lord for all his benefits towards me? For all the benefits you have received from the God of choosing, all you need to render to him is to testify. And by your testimony, God of choosing shall be glorified. And thereafter, make the miracle to be permanent in your life. So go quickly to my left-hand side. The testimony interviewers are waiting to grant you opportunity to testify. We want to recognize the presence of those who are joining us in fellowship today for the very first time. So wherever you are in this auditorium and in our midst, can you please rise up on your feet? On behalf of our pastor, the general overseer, the founder of this ministry, and on behalf of the entire congregation, we welcome you all in Jesus' name. And if today is your first time, you are not sitting directly opposite the altar. Today is your first time. We have seats we have reserved for our guests and invitees. Please carry your Bible, your bag, and be ushered to the seats we have reserved for all our newcomers. Shall the church please rise up on their feet? Let's welcome them with a welcome song that says, O ye people, the lost choosing the glory of the Lord. 
Come and make Jesus King of Kings, make Jesus King of Kings. Come and make Jesus Lord of all, make Jesus Lord of all. Come and make Jesus King of Kings, make Jesus King of Kings. One to go. Oh, ye people, the lost chosen, the glory of the Lord. Come and make Jesus King of Kings, make Jesus King of Kings. Come and make Jesus Lord of all, make Jesus Lord of all. Come and make Jesus King of Kings. Make Jesus King of Kings. Please be seated. All our guests and invitees, please have your seats. Once again, on behalf of our General Overseer, I say welcome to you, to this great fellowship, and I want to assure you that the God of Chosen will visit you beyond your expectations. So whatever your expectations may be, I want to assure you, beyond your expectations, the God of Chosen will surely visit you. And I'd like you to take note of this, all our guests and invitees. This is the Lost Chosen Charismatic Revival Movement. The Lost Chosen Charismatic Revival Movement. And the Almighty God has given to us threefold vision to fulfill. I'd like you to know the visions and the mandates that God Almighty has given to us. Vision number one, to bring grassroots revival all over the world. According to the Bible in Mark chapter 16, verse 15, and he said unto them, according to the Lord's command, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. In Luke chapter 19, verse 10, the Bible says, For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. The mind of God is that every soul should be saved and come to the knowledge of truth. Vision number two, revival of the apostolic Christian experiences among the body of Christ. Revival of apostolic Christian experiences such as genuine salvation, sanctification, Holy Ghost baptism, the gift of the Holy Spirit, evangelism prowess, apostolic zeal, righteousness, commitment, love, faith, unity, heavenly mindedness, care, and diverse manifestations of the Holy Ghost. All these apostolic Christian experiences shall become the bedrock of your Christian faith as you continue in fellowship with us in Jesus' name. The Bible says in Acts chapter 2, verse 17, And it shall come to pass in the last day, says God, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. God has called us as an instrument in his hand, to revive the body of Christ, to revive believers all over the world, and to bring them to perfection. According to the Bible in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9, But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people, that you should show forth the praises of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Vision number three. Revival of heaven consciousness in the heart of every believer all over the world. In other words, heaven at last. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. In John chapter 14, verses 1 to 3, the Bible says, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you, and if I go, 
and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 19, the Bible says, If in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are of all men most miserable. Therefore, no matter what you have come to the church to look for, maybe you have come today to seek for miracle, to seek for healing, to seek for financial breakthrough. All these things are available in the service today. But it's very important for you to first of all seek for God, seek for his kingdom, and after having them, every other thing you are looking for shall be added to you naturally. Before the emergence of this church, many were engrossed only in eating and drinking and pleasures of life, satisfying their fleshly lust. But now, to the glory of God, many have become conscious of heaven, manifesting the gift of the Spirit, the fruit of the Spirit, and serving God in spirit and in truth. Our mandate, we have received from the Almighty God the mandate to win 10 billion souls into the kingdom of God. We have been mandated by the Almighty God to bring 10 billion souls into God's kingdom. And I want you to know that that mandate runs from generation to generation. As long as life remains on earth and we wait for the rapture, this ministry has been commissioned and powered by the Almighty God to ensure that 10 billion souls, wherever they may be found, must be brought to the kingdom of God. And as you have joined us in fellowship today, automatically you are part of this mandate in Jesus' name. The Bible says in 1 Timothy chapter 2, verses 3 and 4, the Bible says, For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God, our Savior, who will have all men, to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. For those of you joining us today for the first time, I'd like you to know our days of fellowship in our headquarters so that you can take advantage of every day of fellowship and be in attendance and God or chosen will maximumly bless you. So I want you to listen attentively so that you will know our days of fellowship in this headquarters. Every Sunday, is a time of worship and study of the Holy Scriptures to create awareness of the knowledge of God. Every Sunday by 8 a.m., we gather here for a time to worship God and to study the Scriptures that we may have full knowledge of God. So the service starts by 8 a.m., and the venue is this auditorium where we are now. It's called the Revival Ground. We also have what we call the Combined Service, second Sunday and last Sunday of every month. All the branches in Lagos State will gather here to fellowship in the headquarter every second Sunday and last Sunday of every month. But take note, every Sunday we have fellowship here by 8 a.m. We also have what we call the Sunday House Care Fellowship. Sunday House Care Fellowship is a fellowship where brethren gather in their local homes to learn and adopt the care and the love of the early apostles. The Sunday House Care Fellowship starts by 6 p.m. and closes by 7 p.m. And I want you to take note of this. This church will recognize you as a full member and give you every benefit a member would have if only you identify with a house care fellowship very close to your house. In every neighborhood in Lagos, we have the house care fellowship of the lost chosen. So you can do well to meet with the person that invited you to the church today to direct you to the house care fellowship very close to your house. There you will receive care. You will receive love. Your welfare will be attended to. Now, every Tuesday, of every week, every Tuesday. We have what we call the Tuesday Revival Hour. It is a time for the demonstration of God's power to roll away sicknesses and diseases and all problems of life and to bring about the needed revival to our souls. 
Our Tuesday Revival Hour is divided into two sections. The morning section starts by 8 a.m. The evening section starts by 5 p.m. And I want you to take note, our Tuesday Revival Hour, the venue for that fellowship is the first auditorium. Remember I told you that where we are now is called the Revival Ground. It's called the new site. Now there is a hall beside the car park. That hall is called the first auditorium. That's where we have our Tuesday Revival Hour, 8 a.m. in the morning and 5 p.m. in the evening. On Wednesday by 5 p.m. at the first auditorium, we have an exclusive fellowship for all our guests and invitees. As many that are worshiping with us for the first time in the week, you have an exclusive meeting on Wednesday by 5 p.m. In the course of that fellowship, you are expected to come with three special prayer requests. You will come with three special prayer requests. In the course of the fellowship, our pastor will pray concerning those three prayer requests. And I'm assuring you after his prayer concerning those three prayer requests, everything written there shall be converted to testimonies. So are you joining us today for the first time? After the blessings of God in your life today, remember, on Wednesday by 5 p.m., you have an exclusive meeting on, by 5 p.m. at the first auditorium. Every Thursday of the week, we have what we call counseling and deliverance service. Every Thursday, and that is the fellowship we are having right now. It's our counseling and deliverance service that starts by 8 a.m. every Thursday in this auditorium, the Revival Ground. Every Saturday, we have what we call Bible Study Stroke Workers Meeting. It's a fellowship designed to help those that are born again to grow, to bring us to perfection, to increase us in grace and knowledge and in the wisdom of God. So as many of you that are born again, heavenly minded, and you want to grow to perfection in your relationship with God, then you must always attend every fellowship and the Saturday Bible study stroke workers meeting. Very important that all our members attend that fellowship. It will help you to grow in knowledge, help you to grow in the fear of God, help you to grow in the wisdom of God, and prepare you for the master's use. So our Saturday Bible study workers meeting holds in this auditorium, and the time is 9 a.m. Now I want you to listen specially. This Saturday coming two days from now is a special one. We are having a one-day crusade at Navy Town, Ojo, by Alaki Jabo Stop. We'll be having a one-day program And that program is titled, God That Changes Situations. So everybody must be in that program. And I'm assuring you, you will experience the power of God of choosing. Remember, we are meeting there at Navy Town or Jordi. The nearest bus stop is Alakija. The moment you get to Alakija, you just cross over to the, next, the other side. You are almost at the Navy Town. So if we tell you Navy Town or Jordi, we are not referring to or Job Barracks. No, it's Alaki bus stop, very close to us here. And also, I'd like to bring to your knowledge, especially those of you joining us today for the first time, we have a special crusade, our Easter program, that will hold on the 30th and 31st of this month. And the program is titled, God's Covenant of Peace and Blessings. So have the date in your mind, 30th and 31st. is a special crusade. You cannot afford to miss it. God of Chosen is bringing us afresh into a covenant of peace with him, covenant of blessings, and covenant of long life. So everybody must be in attendance so that we can renew in that covenant and enter into a fresh one, and we shall be mightily blessed. For our newcomers, 
all our guests and invitees. I believe you must have received our newcomer's card. Please give us the following information about yourself, your name, the address of where you live, the date you attended the church, which is today's date, the nearest bus stop to your house, the days you are available at home, the time you are available at home, your phone number. If you have an email, you will do well to put it down. This information will enable our leaders, our workers, even our pastors to visit you, to encourage you more in prayers and word of God. And maybe there are two or one or two questions you may want to ask about the Christian faith. Then that information will enable our leaders to visit you. Then you will have the opportunity to, to ask whatever question you want to ask. So give us the accurate information about yourself. And God of Chosen will bless you for doing so in Jesus' name. Shall we all please rise up on our feet? Let us go to God in prayer. Please be on your feet. Let us go to God in prayer. Down at one day. At one day, oh Lord. One day, O oh Lord, to receive glory, honor, and, and power. All things are for thy pleasure, they are, and were created. Thou art worthy, Lord. Worthy, O Lord, to receive glory, honor, and, and power. Yet, um, all things are for thy pleasure, they are and when cream is the Lord, is the Lord, amen, he has risen from the dead, he is the Lord. Hallelujah, every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is. I want us to begin to worship the King of Kings, the God of heaven, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of choosing, the God that answer prayers, the God that changes situations, the covenant-keeping God. Magnify him, the God of the living, the God that gives life and sustains life, the God of miracles, the one mightier than all, give glory and praise unto him, immortal and invisible God, the ancient of days, the almighty God, the father of all spirits, the God of all flesh. Jehovah is your name. You are the God of choosing. You are the helper of the choosing ministry. You are the founder, the builder, the glory, the beauty. You are the honor of the choosing people. Father, we praise your name, we praise your mercy. We praise your power, we praise your goodness. We praise you for your love upon the church without a condition. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you for the increase upon the ministry. Thank you for the multiplication. Thank you for the visions and the mandates. Thank you for the salvation of every chosen one all over the world. Thank you for the sanctification. Thank you for the conversion. Thank you, Heavenly Father. God, our chosen, will thank you for the life of our pastor. Thank you for your power, your spirit upon his life. Be thou exalted, heavenly Father. In Jesus' 
mighty name we pray. We are going to pray concerning the visions and the mandates the God of choosing has given to us to fulfill and to actualize. We are going to ask that God of choosing should help us. He should give us more grace, more strength, more wisdom, more resources, spiritual and physical and financial, that will enable us to fulfill the visions and actualize the mandates. Shall we begin to pray for grace, pray for help, pray for the presence of the Lord afresh, for the visions and the mandates to be fulfilled. Immortal and invisible Father, the God of choosing our helper, the God of choosing our builder, the God of choosing our redeemer. Father, we come before you this day seeking for your help, seeking for your presence, seeking that you go ahead of us for the fulfilling of the visions and actualization of the mandates. Lord, we are asking, O oh God, by your mercy, by your grace and power, give us grassroots revival all over the world. Lord, by your mercy, by your grace and power, give us revival of apostolic Christian experiences among the body of Christ and revival of heaven consciousness in the heart of believers all over the world. Lord, by your mercy and grace and power, bring 10 billion souls into your kingdom through this ministry. Father, take us all over the nations. Give us establishment, O oh God, everywhere. Give us access to all men and let all men have access to us. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. We are going to pray especially for the crusades coming up. Let's begin with the one coming up on Saturday at Navy Town. And the crusade coming up afterward, the upper weekend, God's covenant of peace and blessings. We are going to ask that the God of choosing will go ahead of us. We are going to ask that God of choosing should help us. We are going to ask that God of choosing should advertise the program. We are going to ask that God of choosing will gather his people to the program. Let him give us conducive word and give us total success. Shall we begin to pray now? Immortal and invisible Father, we pray consigning the programs coming up on Saturday and upper weekend. Immortal and invisible Father, go ahead of us, dear Father, for without you we can do nothing. No man can do the things of God except the Spirit of God be with him. No man can do the things of God except the help of God be upon him. Father, we are looking for your help. Go ahead of us, righteous one. Give us total success. Give us victory on every side. Make us to have dominion in that program. God of choosing. We are asking that you advertise the program spiritually and physically. Lord, we are asking for the show of your power, manifestation of your grace and power. Come down in glory and power. Save the multitudes that will come. Gather the people and bless them, O righteous one. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Give us a very conducive weather. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. We are going to pray for our pastor. Brethren, the expectation from him is high. People are looking unto him to talk to God or choosing on their behalf and expecting God or choosing to give answer. We are going to present the, him before the God of choosing that called him. We are going to ask that the God of choosing that has begun with him will continue to work with him. We are going to ask that the presence of God will continue to be with him. We are going to pray for him, pray for his entire family. Let there be increase of anointing, increase of glory, increase of power, increase of grace, increase of wisdom. Shall we begin to pray for him? Immortal and invisible Father, we present our pastor before you, the almighty God. Lord, the sons of men are expecting much from him because they believe that you called him. Therefore, we are asking, O righteous God, let your presence continue to walk with him. Let your spirit continue to walk with him. Father, use him to show forth your praise again and again in the land of the living. God, or choosing, we are asking, let there be increase of your power in his life. Increase of your grace and boldness and faith. Let there be increase of your wisdom. Continue to use him to show forth your praise. Use him to heal the sick. 
Use him to raise the dead. Use him to make impossibilities possible. Use him to save every soul unto your kingdom. Father, we are praying that you walk with him. Ensure his safety. Fight for him. Give him victory on every side. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Finally, we are going to pray. Presenting our nation, Nigeria, before God and all the nations of the world unto God of Chosen. We are going to ask that God of Chosen will take over this nation. Let the salvation of God affect every citizen in this nation. Let God of Chosen bring fear of the Lord upon all the citizens. Let there be security everywhere in this nation. Let the God of Chosen take away all the troublers of the nation. Shall we begin to pray now? Let him give us peace. Our Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you. The God of choosing, we are asking, O oh God, Father, come and have your way in our nation. Come and dwell in this nation and let your salvation be visible. Let the fear of the Lord touch every citizen of this nation. Lord, you promise that in the later days you pour out your spirit upon all flesh. Father, let all flesh in this nation know the Lord, fear the Lord, obey the Lord, serve the Lord. And let all evil cease in our land. God of choosing, let your protection mightily prevail. Lord, intervene in this nation. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you. The God of our pastor, we honor you. The God of choosing that never fail, we glorify your name. Thank you for bringing us into your house this day. Thank you for what you have determined to do in our lives. Our Father, we pray that you have your way in the midst of your people. And let your name be glorified in Jesus' name. God of choosing, we pray for your servants. Our pastor, we are asking, oh God, let there be a fresh release of your oil upon his life. Let the hand of the Lord continue to preserve him in his going out and coming in. Preserve all his family from all evil. Father, we pray that your favor upon them shall increase mightily. Father, continue to use him to save souls. Continue to use him to bring solution. Continue to use him to revive the world in Jesus' name. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Please be seated. If you are there, you have testimonies of what God or choosing has done in your life. We'd like you to move quickly to my left-hand side, meet with the testimony interviewers. The opportunity will be given to you to testify. Remember, the miracle belongs to you. The healing that God of choosing has performed in you is for you. But the glory must be given to the healer, the God of choosing. The glory must be given to the miracle worker, whom is the God of choosing. So rise up on your feet so that we can joy with you in your testimony and glorify God of choosing who has performed that miracle in your life. So go to my left-hand side, meet with the testimony interviewers. The opportunity will be given to you to testify of God or choosing's intervention in your life. We have on stage setting up to minister to us in song the central choir of the lost choosing. Let them minister now.
Faithful is he that promised. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but God's word can never fail. As God has promised, it must surely come to pass. He said, Never you give up, the Lord will grant you your heart's desires. The God of choosing has all the power to solve all problems you are passing through. It doesn't matter where you have gone in search for solution to solve your problems. As you have come to the Lord's choosing, they said rejoice, for God of choosing will see you through. I'd like you to bow your head now and begin to pray in their message in song. I say God of choosing will see you through. That God of choosing has the power to solve all your problems. Pray that all his promises shall be fulfilled and made manifest even in your life today. Ask the God of choosing that your heart's desires should be granted. Ask him that he should solve every problem, bring solution into your life. Our Father in heaven, we thank you because you never fail. Your promises are an oath and cannot be nullified. Lord, we come before you, Lord, asking that as your servant to minister to us your word, let your word reform our lives. And as he prays unto you on our behalf, Lord, as you have always done, answer his prayer again. And bring testimonies in our lives. Bring solution to every problem. Father, grant all our desires, our heart desires, and make us to rejoice and testify. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' wonderful name, we have prayed. I'd like you to clap unto God or choosing. <laughs> clap unto Him, appreciate Him. Thank you, Father. If you are there, you have testimonies of what God or choosing has done in your life. We would love to hear your testimonies. 
the testimonies of his doings in your life. We love to hear how God has chosen intervened in your health and healed you of every sickness. We love to hear how God has chosen intervened in your financial problem and has given you solution. We want to rejoice with you, glorifying the God of choosing who has performed the miracle in your life. So if you are there, you have testimonies of God of choosing's visitation in your life. Quickly go to my left hand side, meet with the testimony interviewers so that the opportunity will be given to you to share your testimonies today. That we may join you to glorify the God of choosing, that we may join you to praise him who has counted you worthy to receive from him. So once again, go to my left hand side, meet with the testimony interviewers. The opportunity will be given to you to testify. Beloved guests and invitees and all the worshipers, we launch into the time we're listening to testimonies of what the God of choosing has done in the lives of our brethren. I'd like us to receive the testimonies by clapping unto God of choosing, the God of miracles. Clap unto him, the God of choosing that changes situation. Clap unto the God of choosing that answer prayers, the wonder-working God. The God that do it wonders, the God that never fail. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. For testifiers, tell us your name. Tell us the first time you came to choosing. And please go straight to the point. Tell us what God of choosing has done in your life. The first testifier. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choosing praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Please permit me, sir. I would want to sing to God. Please, you can sing. Jesus, you are so good to me in all circumstances. In all circumstances. Oh. Jesus, you are so good to me in all circumstances, in all circumstances. Oh, choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choosing praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. My name is Esther Equire Udo, and I joined the Lord's choosing in the year 2013, choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My branch is at a Sherry branch, and I want to thank God for making me and my family chosen, choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. I want to appreciate God for his goodness, for his mercy, and for his love upon my life. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I really want to thank God for seeing me through my four years in school. And now he has made me a graduate in the Department of Accounting, Finance, and Taxation at Caleb University. Choosing praise, Master Jesus. Clap unto God of choosing. Appreciate him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Lord. I really want to thank God for how we saw me through school because there were attacks, both spiritually and physically, but God of choosing saw me through school successfully to his glory. I say, may his name alone be highly glorified in the name of Jesus. Amen. Secondly, I want to appreciate this great God of choosing for making it possible for me to be redeployed to Lagos for my NYSC service, choosing praise, Master Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. I only want to thank God for, you know, answering my prayers concerning this. And I saw this very good news yesterday, and I'm like, I must come today to give God all the glory, choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choosing praise, Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Totally, I want to thank God for, you know, helping us to build the Lord's Choosing Campus Fellowship over there at Caleb University. Choosing praise the Lord. Wow. Thank you, God of choosing. I want to appreciate this great God 
for the grace, for the strength, and for building the altar of the choosing at Caleb University. The choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And to glory today, we are two years and two months old. Choosing, praise Master Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. I, I perceive, really I perceive that. that university should be a private one. Yes, sir. And God of choosing still helped you people to establish the campus fellowship of the lost chosen. Yes, sir. You say you are two years and how many months? Two years and two months, sir. Two years and two months. This fellowship is waxing strong. Clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choosing praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. I really want to appreciate God for how far he has brought us you know, and for his faithfulness upon our lives. I say, be that glorified there, God, in Jesus' name. And I want to advise all the intending undergraduates that as you enter school, try to identify with the Choosing Campus Fellowship. And if there is no one there, try to establish one because you are choosing and our light must shine. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And I pray at this juncture for our geo heaven at last. All the choosing members worldwide, heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. Choosing is first class. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Clap unto God of choosing. Appreciate the Lord by clapping unto him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Are you there? You have testimonies. would like you to go quickly to my left hand side. Maybe you're just joining us in fellowship and you have testimonies of God or choosing visitation in your life. We'd love to hear your testimony. We'd love to rejoice with you. We'd love to celebrate the doings of the God or choosing in your life. So move quickly to my left hand side. Meet with the testimony interviewers. The opportunity will be given to you to testify. The next testifier. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Rita Opera. I'm living at Bokono and worship at Bokono Branch. I want to thank this God of Chosen, how he saved my life from my fatal Okada accident last week, Thursday. Chosen, praise the Lord. Clap on to God of Chosen. Thank you, Father. And I want to thank God. He used a brother to treat me for that Incident. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You can see me now. I'm, I'm hiding. Nothing. Nothing happened to me. I want to give this God of choosing a glory for delivering me for that fatal accident. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Daddy Johnson, I want to pray for my daddy G.O. Heaven at last in the name of Jesus. Amen. And all the choosing all over the world. Heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. The next testifier. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Brother Lambert Ugo Chuku. I reside at number 13 Taiwo Street, Ajegunle, Lagos. My worship, I worship with Ajegunle branch in Alawado Autonomous Community. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I thank God for making me and my family a choosing. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Daddy, permit me, I have a song to sing. Yes, you can sing. Abu Monye Chine Chitamu Chukwamao Abu Monye Chine Chiremu Chukwamao Le Kwano Nye Mehe de Kamu Chine Chitamu Chukwama Le Kwano Nye Mehe de Kamu Chine Chitamu Chukwoma, oh my father, oh my father, oh my father, the God of choosing, oh my father, 
oh my father oh my father oh my father oh my father the god of choosing oh my father oh my father oh my father choosing praise the lord hallelujah i am happy to be a choosing thank you father thank you god of choosing i want to thank god of choosing for what he has done in my life even in my family it happened the 19th of march 2023 i come back from work on a saturday morning i was telling my wife that i'm having chest pain coughing and my daughter was not feeling okay. So my wife asked me, when did I start feeling it? I explained. Okay, she gave me medicine and she gave me injection because my wife is a nurse. So I slept. In the night, through Sunday morning, we couldn't sleep very well. And the dress on that Sunday morning and they left for church. I was at home. She called my phone. That is better for me to come to the service so that the servant of God in our branch will pray for me. I got up. I managed myself. I go to the church. I meet my pastor there. He prayed for me. He asked me. I explained everything to him. He said that the God of choosing will hear me. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That was the what I know that happened to Tuesday, the upper week in the afternoon. I couldn't understand what was going on again. Even when they rushed me to hospital, I didn't know. So is that Tuesday afternoon when I started shaking my body. I was calling the name of my wife. The doctors and nurses, they rallied around me. They started, ah, he has wake up, he has wake up, he has wake up. And I asked them, where is my wife? They say, my wife is coming. So the doctor now asked me, can I be able to see him? I say, yes. What kind of clothes he put on? I said, he said, okay, he want to ask me a question. He said that that Sunday night, there was a man that put on suit that come to this hospital. Who is that man? Hmm. Hmm. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He, said, he asked me, who was that man? I said, I don't know anything. Unless I will ask my wife, even where I am, that I don't know where I am. So the doctor now sent for my wife. They went to call my wife. I told them that they should please call my wife quick, quick. I saw my children, the way they are passing. I don't like the way that they are passing. That you should quickly direct them where that I am. So my wife now came in. I said, please. Who is the person that put on suit that was here on Sunday night? And where am I? My wife told me that I'm in the hospital. Hmm. My wife said, the person that he called is my branch pastor and my former branch pastor, Pastor Samson. That Pastor Samson was there, but the person that they are describing that was on suit, that is the angel of my daddy, G.O. I hmm. said, I believe you. Hmm. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I now asked my wife what happened. Why did you not see the person that come inside there? He said that the doctor come and meet her where she was sitting, that the oxygen they put me have stopped working, that have passed on. She started moving along the street, crying everywhere, running all about, saying, how can she be a widow now? And my children without father. She started crying, moving along the street. So that he didn't even know. It's when Pastor Samson now was coming, he followed Pastor Samson to the hospital. Behold, 
he saw them when they were attending to me again, that they said that the man on suit told them that, go and attend to that brother. Nothing happens to him, he has not died. Hmm. And if we people abandon him, that he's going to deal with them one by one. Hmm. That is what they make. Hmm. Hmm. Clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. The man on suit was saying this to the doctor and the choosing praise the Lord. You mean the man on suit told this thing to the doctor? Yes, it's the man on suit that told the doctor and the nurses that they should go back and attend to that brother, that the brother is not dead. That if they abandon him, if anything happens to him, that he's going to deal with them. They should he forced them, they come back, started attending to me. Hmm. It's when they come back, the doctor told me when immediately they come back, the oxygen that stopped started working again. Hey. <laughs> Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Let's clap unto God of choosing. Clap unto him. Appreciate him. Thank you, Father. Choose him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The doctor asked me again, what is the name of my church? I said, I worship with the Lord choosing. He said, no wonder. Mm. And he told me, if I'm, there is something that makes that God to save me, I should go back to that church and look for what I'm going to do in the house of the Lord in that church where that I'm worshiping. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Doctor was saying this to you. Yes, sir. Hmm. So I started asking my wife, how did it happen? He said, this is how it happened. And the, word that, the, the, word, the thing that makes me to be happy, the members of my yard, where that I'm living, is good to be a choosing. My wife was not at home when the thing was seriously much on that Sunday evening. It's my children that was at home. They started using my phone to call in their mother. They told me that my daughter, my two sons, that I shall allow them to become pastor in choosing, that the type of prayer point they pray for me on that day, they never know that my children can pray that way. Hmm. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I say, yes, it's good to be a choosing. I told my wife, I said, what happened to me? He said, they brought me here on Sunday. Till the doctor now told her that this is what happened. She started running up and down before the God of choosing bring me back. Because that Sunday, the Tuesday, later in the afternoon, that is where I got where that I know. That was three days. Mm. I couldn't even know whether I'm in my house or any other place. Mm. God will choose him, bring me back to life. Choose him, praise the Lord. I am happy God will choose him, is my, my father. father. Are you happy? I am happy God will choose him, is my father. I am very happy. I am happy God will choose him, is my father. I am very happy. I am happy God will choose him, is my father. Are you very happy? I am happy God will choose him, is my father. We are very happy. I am happy God will choosing is my Clap father. Clap God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Choosing, praise the Lord. You mean, the, you know, the, the, the doctors first of all confirmed you dead. Yes, sir. They said the oxygen they put on you stopped working. Yes, sir. So they confirmed you were dead. Yes, sir. Until that angel visited. Yes, sir. And told them that he is still alive. Yes, sir. Now, by the time they went back to you, they discovered the oxygen has started working again. Yes, sir. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. And this, thing, this experience, you were in this state of deadness for three days. Yes, sir. What you could remember was you visited the church on Sunday. Yes, sir. As your wife told you, you should come to church. Yes, sir. So from that church, you don't know what happened to you again. Yes, sir. Only for you to come back to life on Tuesday. Yes, sir. After the angel of the ministry visited you, the angel of our pastor. Yes, sir. Clap unto this God of the choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God of choosing. Mm -hmm. My second testimony. You know, there is one lesson we need to learn there. You know, you didn't want to go to church that day because of that sickness. Am I right? Yes, sir. You said your wife called you. 
Yes, my wife called me on phone. He said I should try my possible best because I cannot, I cannot stand straight and work very well. I manage myself even when I was going, coming back, I couldn't get myself. As I came back to my house, I lie down. That is the till I wake up that Tuesday afternoon. Hmm. That is where I know where that I was again. So the lesson there is that no matter the situation, please come to church. Yes, sir. If you cannot walk, tell your house care members to assist you. They will bring you to church. Yes, sir. So he came to the church and God or choosing visited him and considered that as righteousness and decided to restore life back to him. So no matter the state of your life, the state of your health, in as much as there is still bread in you and come to the, come to the church, you will see God's intervention in your life. Let's appreciate the God of choosing. Let's clap unto him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My second testimony goes like this. Before, I was not a member of Lord choosing. I was worshiping with the Christ Apostolic Church. When we are planning for my wedding, then I was living in Songo, Ogon State. When I discovered the Lord choosing Ogon State headquarters there, I always go for their Tuesday service and Thursday service. I now call my wife because she's in that Ogon State as well. I said, you see this church, after our wedding, that is where we are going to be worshiping. And for now, be coming for their weekly activities. I told her, on Tuesday, on Thursday, even if they have night vision, I will go, she will come. To that, our wedding, we finish our wedding. On our way coming back, there is a man of God that was preaching in that luxurious bus that night. He said, after he prayed, he said, everybody, whatever you have in your hand, use it as a seed and pray that God should guide you and protect you this year, 2005. All that started murmuring inside the motto. I told my wife, I said, we have spent all our money. It's 500 naira that we have. I now told her, bring your hand, let your hand together and pray, tell God what we want. We did. The man of God opened the Bible, we put the money. It's not up to 15 minutes, he dropped from the bus. So we are now heading toward that Shagam flyover. It was a luxurious bus. We just had a very big noise, beam. My wife was sitting inside, I was sitting outside. I used my hand as the, bus, the luxurious bus started shaking. I used my hand, I block her so that she cannot fall off. What we just start, that motor somersaulted the first one, the second one, the third one. All the tires now be up. Hmm. Our head is on the ground. Hmm. The song that entered my mind. I am. There is song that, one choosing song that entered my mind. My, my, I started singing that choosing song. Started singing that song, my wife joined me. So when I started con continuing singing that song, I manage my blood, my, my body is full of blood, my white body is full of blood. We manage turning down, looking for a way to come out. Hmm. All our, my cloth was soaked with blood, all her cloth was soaked with blood. I say, have you, I don't know whether, you, don't know whether you have injury. We manage and come out. And before we come out, behold, police, road safety, pressmen, they fool everywhere that morning. As we come out, I cannot be able to see very well. Even my wife, that's how we hold ourselves. The police people come and help us. Oh, my wife, they hold me. 
The first one come and meet me. Brother, are you sure you come out from this luxurious bus? I said, yes. Say, where am I coming from? I said, I'm coming from Oweri. The second one, the press man said, no, you can't come out from this motor. I said, look at my body full of blood. He said, maybe it's the motor that that luxurious bus hit. He said, okay, if you are from this bus, bring your ticket. I put my hand inside my pocket. I bring my ticket and my wife's ticket. I show them. That's why they carry us, go and sit us one side. So they said, how are you sure you are from this bus that all of them, they are taking them to Montuary, they are rushing other people to hospital. Oh. Oh. I say, the God we are serving is our life. Mm. Then, I never know how to shout, I am a choosing. But it's that song, that choosing song that I sing inside that motto that day. That was the only song that I know. As they now take us, they put us in a motor that drop out, that drop out for beggar. From there, they give us money to enter motor, go into our play. But choose him, praise the Lord. I'd like us to there clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. There is something that surprised me. I've already told my wife that let's forget our bag, our luggage, whatever we are having. As we are going, I don't even know. Even the plate, my wife used it on that night, even the spoon. What I say is the God of choosing that I'm serving today. All our bag, even that plate and that spoon, the, rub, uh, the rubber that they put oil in, they pack all our luggage one place where we are passing. My wife said, this is my bag. She said, this is the oil my mother gave me. This is the plate I take to eat. Everything was together. And myself, I, I now say, how did it happen? I've already said that, yes, you have lost all this. But this God mm. make everything to be okay for us. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. As I come back home, as my wife bath, I bath, I call her, I said, you see, this Lord choosing church, from today, as we come back, there is no going back. That is the God we are going to worship. That is where we are going to serve. That is, whatever we are going to do is in the Lord choosing. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. From that day up to today, me and my wife, my miracle children, is when my wife come around, we give that testimony. It's from choosing. From that day up to today, we never go back. Mm. I want to thank this God of choosing. Who saved my life? Who saved my family? Who did not allow my wife to become a widow? Who did not allow my children to be with our father? May his name alone be highly exalted and be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. I remember last Tuesday, my family members started calling me that today is one year that my enemy died and come back to life. I said, yes, I have that great God that never changed. Mm. The God of my pastor, the God of the chosen, that do this for me. Oh, may his name alone, his name, only name alone, be highly exalted and be glorified in the name of Jesus. Amen. I am not worthy to mention to pray for my daddy, G.O. But daddy, the God that called you, will never forsake you in the name of Jesus. Amen. The strength you need to carry on, to move this ministry on, he will surely give you in the name of Jesus. Amen. You and your family, whatever may be your heart desire, what you want this God to do for you, you will never ask him for twice. He will do it in one billion fold in Jesus' name. Amen. The choosing mandate will surely be fulfilled in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray for my autonomous pastor. I pray for my brand pastor. Like father, like son in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray for choosing every choosing members all over the world. Heaven at last, me and my family, heaven at last in the name of Jesus. Amen. I cover my testimony with the blood of Jesus. Lord of and Jesus. Choosing, is, choosing is first class in Jesus' name. Amen. Choosing, praise the Lord. 
We are saying thank you. We are saying, Father, we are saying, Father, we are saying, Father, we are saying, Jesus, we are saying, thank you, God of choosing. Clap unto God of choosing. Our pastor said, no choosing will die a day before our time. That was why the angel appeared. Even when the medical doctor and the medicals declared him dead, and the wife ran to the street and was crying, because the declaration of our pastor must stand, the angel of our pastor appeared, knowing that his time had not come, and made them to know that this man is alive. Go back to him. The angel must have walked on him and called him back to life and told the doctors to go and attend to him again. And told them, if you don't do it, if anything happens to him, I will treat all of you one by one. And all they had to go back to him and discover that the oxygen that has stopped working, after the angel's visitation, the oxygen started working again. <laughs> after three days, being dead, God of chosen restored him back to life. This is one of the, this is one of the numerous benefits we enjoy in choosing. We are not alone. The God of choosing is with us. And the angel of the choosing is always going with us, ensuring that all our pastor's declaration will be fulfilled in our lives. So we advise you to remain in choosing. If today is your first time, continue. And I'm assuring you, you will experience power you will experience glory. And you will always testify of the visitation of God of choosing in your life. Let's clap unto him once again. Thank you, Father. The next testifier. Susan, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Isaac Adeshola, and I joined choosing... Uh, 2010, August 15, year 2010. And God of choosing has been so good. Thank you, Father. If I have the permission to sing this small song, we all know it. If you are a choosing, rejoice. If you are a choosing, rejoice. The wind come no carry choosing. If you are a choosing, rejoice. If you are choosing, rejoice. If you are choosing, rejoice. The wind cannot carry choosing. If you are choosing, rejoice. If you are choosing, rejoice. If you are choosing, rejoice. The wind cannot carry choosing. Clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. I'm here this morning to thank God for delivering me from a very demonic house. Mm. It came that in 2022, I entered a house. I rented that two-bedroom flat. And as I entered the house, the dream I always have, I had it three times. We will bring you down. Mm. We will bring you down. We will bring you down. I started praying. Then calamity upon calamity, trouble here and there. But the God of choosing is a faithful God. Mm. The God of our pastor cannot fail anyone. Mm. Thank you, Father. I share testimony here sometimes how God gave me a Toyota Siena. That Toyota Siena in that compound, February 15, 2023. The election day. I did not carry the vehicle out. Even the day before then, I didn't take it out. But I it caught fire over the night on that election day. 
Hmm. I don't know. But the faithful God of choosing, he says, son, you don't need to sleep this hour. He pressed it upon me to be praying till 12 minutes past 11 p.m. Exactly that 12 minutes past 11. I, when I was praying, I was just hearing far away, the other room, I was hearing the smoke, I mean the smell of rubber burning. So I have to go and look outside. Before I know it, the vehicle has caught fire. But the God of choosing did not allow it to completely burn. Hmm. I, uh, they, they just think they succeeded in wasting my money to repair it. But, but I bought a complete uh, fuse balls, air flow meter, and some other uh, compartment vehicle. But God of choosing is the one that spared that vehicle. Mm. Thank no you, one. God of choosing. No one. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Another time for just no reason. You know they said they want to bring themselves down. And I said, God, you said, whosoever pay evil for good, evil will not depart from them. So far I do good in that house, anybody firing the harrow, they will not go unpunished. God started the battle. Last man we come, arrest the fact we got to a stage, I have to sell my television to settle case. Things were so difficult. I get to the office, Borrow money from cooperative, yes, trouble will come. I want to pack out of the house. Say, Lord, let me leave. God said, this battle is not mine. So when God said the battle is not his own, I don't know what is responsible for that trouble in that house. I got to know that the person that built the house himself, he fortified everywhere, all in suits, with AC in every room. He could not stay there in that room. You have to find somewhere to go and stay. For you to know how powerful that house is. But choosing one, God of choosing is so great. So I continue in that house. Lord, bring me out of this house. Do you know that it was a bondage? As, as, as soon as I enter that house, I've entered bondage. But God of choosing will never leave his children in bondage. Mm. To pray, if I pray today fervently, Tomorrow, next tomorrow, no way. I begin to struggle in the spirits. Nothing. Spiritually, I say, but I remember one prayer. I peeped from the mouth of our Jew. He said, God, that we told Laban from hurting Jacob, we will told you from sinning against him. So far, I did not fall into sin. I know the battle cannot overcome me. God of choosing, we told me from anything that may not come, I even come. And God preserved me in that house. Everything was going down. Every day. I got to the office, I borrowed 300,000, let me get another apartment. Believe you me, three days after I got the money, looking for the house, I was going to the office, the GR seal, and around the GR pump, the thing just began to leak oil throw away the oil, I spent the whole money repairing the chair. Hey. Everything was so tight for my enemy. Borrowing money. Ah, said God. But to cut the story short, my spirit said, go to church. Uh, come to church now. I know uh, there is nothing that will make me, even if I'm going to office. Uh, my daddy here, Pastor Levy, know me. I will come here before returning to the church. So, I came one day, the spirit said, sow seed. I said, God, I'm sowing this seed, small seed of 5,000. If it's a yoke, break the yoke. If it's any problem, help me and break the yoke. As I sow the seed finish, I continue in the church. You know, God has a time and he wants, to learn, he wants us to learn some lesson sometime. Then, those things were going. The enemy thought they would, they would succeed, but never. He got to a stage, they want to implicate me, imprison me. Hmm. Because the person that painted the house for me, sometimes weekend, normally put up his head in the, in the house. So he just came one day, he fell sick. To cut the story short, this guy died. Hmm. He caught uh, as a result of diabetic stroke. So when the boy died, the, his landlord, they want him to, they want them to evacuate his loot so that they can rent their apartment out. 
And the family were not coming forth to remove the apartment. So they were heading to police station to come and implicate themselves. But somebody somewhere he had a dream, said so, 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 and so, so, so time. Something happened. Somebody that used to come to your side, he died. And the enemy wants to use that avenue to penetrate and waste everything you have and bring you down. I say, okay. And I pray, God of choosing, deliver me from that. God of choosing came to me in the dream. He said, son, I deliver you from two tragic trouble. The cat bonds. I did not allow it to get bonds. The second one is the plan to frame you up. I deliver you. I say, God of choosing, thank you. So, if you will bear me witness to cut the story short, on the 29th of February, we are here. It was a Thursday. Our duo preached about uh, freedom from the hands of our enemies. It was great if you are here that very day. Thank you, Father. Our duo pray for us seriously. He said, you are coming out of the prison. You know, I said, I never knew that I have entered into bondage hmm. as I step in that house. He prayed for us. We went home. As I got home, God of choosing provided me the sum of 300,000. So I was like, remaining some amount to complete the house rent for me to leave that apartment. Then, a brother of my friend came from Dublin. I just told him that I need 80000 to complete my uh, house rent. He said, okay, give me your account. He sent the account. That is how God of choosing broke the yoke. He broke the yoke. He brought me out of that house. I, I, did, I, remember, I forgot to tell us, in that house, no matter how you pray, the pinning spirit will come and press you down. Hmm. Sometimes, if I'm going home like this, I will be full of sorrow. I know, I said, God of choosing, you know the reason. I pray we will not enter into a satanic house in the name of Jesus Christ. So after that program, freedom from the enemies, God so of choosing. So in that program, our Jesus pray for me. Mm. And he pray for every one of us as I go out. The way our Geo said it, that is how it came to pass. God brought me out of the bondage. Mm. I relocated out of the house. Me that I don't, I find it difficult to sleep because I don't know what will happen. Trouble. I cannot sleep with two of my eyes closed. I can pray over the night. Thank you, Father. I can easily go for evangelism. Mm. My spiritual life is restored. Mm. I say, God. Clap unto God of choosing. Let's appreciate him. Thank you, Father. This God is a great God. Mm. I used money to invest into POS business and rented a shop. Nothing come out of that shop mm. for that good years in that former house. But I tell you today, God is changing the narrative. Thank you, Father. So to this end, I want to thank God Almighty. You will, nobody will know the value or the gravity or the degree of what I'm saying. I that was involved know what I'm saying. I pray that God Almighty will pour upon our GO more power, more anointing, greater power ever than the born before in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord Almighty will preserve our GO for us. He will continue to strengthen him and his family. And I pray for our G.O. and every one of us that by the mercy of God, we all make heaven at last in the name of Jesus. Christ. Amen. I pray for the family of our G.O. God will continue to strengthen them in the name of Jesus. Christ. Amen. Every choosing all over the world, the Lord in his mighty power, we withhold us from sinning against him and we help us to please him all the day of our life till we receive our crown at last in heaven in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I cover my testimony with the blood of Jesus Christ. Thank you. God bless you, sir. Bless clap unto God of choosing. Clap unto him. Appreciate him. Thank you, Father.
few are there, you have testimonies of what God has chosen as done. We still like you to run quickly to my left hand side. Meet with the testimony interviewers. The opportunity will be given to you to testify of what God has chosen has done in your life. Don't sit on the testimonies. Enjoy the miracle, enjoy the healing. But say what the Lord has done. That is why the Bible says, Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he has redeemed from the hands of the enemy. So go to my left hand side, meet the testimony interviewers. Opportunity will be given to you to testify. The next testifier. Choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please, moderator, permit me to render a song to this God. Make it very, very brief. If he had chosen, rejoice. If he had chosen, rejoice. If he had chosen, rejoice. The weak and no carry chosen. If he had chosen, rejoice. If he had chosen, rejoice. If he had chosen, rejoice. The weak and no carry chosen. Choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. My name is Sister Ifoma Ehirim. I'm living as number 16, Bolaji Oloru. I'm worshiping as number 51, Okito, Ajegule Wan. I, I come to this choosing 2004. I thank this very God who make me a chosen. Thank you, Father. My standing here today is by the miracle, is for, by miracle of God of choosing. Mm. I thank this very God. This God of choosing is so great. It's so great. If not this God, I don't know where I will be today. Whether I'll be in the grave rotting or forgotten soul, I am happy that I am a chosen. Thank you, Father. I thank this, this very God of Jesus, what he did for me one Thursday. So uh, they sent arrow of death to kill me. Sent so many arrows. Notice. Send, they sent arrow of fear. Small thing, fear, grieve me. Small thing, my heart, fear. I hear somebody died, my heart caught. I hear strength in my heart caught. Heart flowing to my stomach. My heart flowing to my stomach. Fear. This God, one Thursday service, I came. My pastor mentioned my case, and God delivered me. This God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Lord. This God of choosing is great God. Mm. If you are choosing, you are in the right place. My sister, if not this God, oh, no, I don't know what he said. This God, you are so great. You are so marvelous. Oh, I love you so much. Oh, this God of choosing cancel judgment of death, untimely death, sentence of death pass on me physically, spiritually. Oh, God of choosing, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Father. Clap on to God you. of choosing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Oh. I wish you can remember that sister one certain time that 35, how God approved five broad. Is this God is great. This God. This God is so great. Can you, can you remind us how he did it? Tell us how we share that testimony. So one Thursday service, I came, my pastor mentioned the case. That's first thing, that sister. The book of oppression to remove five broad, he canceled it. Mm. So one one night like that, the night that we, the night morning we come that we, we go for the oppression. So in that night I didn't sleep. My stomach turning me, turning me as if I want to, I want to poo poo. So I was telling my husband that I said that I see oh, I, I just go out. In that night, go. What I see, this thing come out. Boom. Mm. Out from my. Mm. Ah. Clap unto God of choosing. This God. I like us to appreciate the God of choosing by clapping unto Him. 
Thank you, Father. You mean you were supposed uh, to go for... I don't know, even, I don't know, even though the one that I didn't remember. Okay. Continue, go ahead. Okay, even though the one I didn't remember what he did for me, he have, he's so great to me, my brother, my sister. That's why I love him so much. He's so dear to me. Oh. Okay, you mean that you were scheduled for surgery? Yes, sir. To remove the fibro through surgery? Yes, sir. So on a particular Thursday service, pastor mentioned the case. Yes, sir. Now, the day before the surgery. Yes, sir. In the night, you began to have stomach disturbance. Yes, sir. As though you want to poo-poo. Yes, sir. And eventually, you, you poo-poo out the fibroid. Yes, sir. No more surgery. Yes, sir. Oh, clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. For how long was that fibroid in you? Sir? How long did the fibroid stay in you before God of choosing uprooted it? Sir? Oh, I cannot remember. You cannot sir. remember, but it yes, stayed, must have stayed for a long time before they said they would do yes, surgery. Yes, sir. And pastor spotted the case. Yes, sir. And mentioned it and uprooted it. Yes, sir. And God of choosing made you to pass it out. Yes, from, sir. Oh, what a great God we serve. Let's appreciate the God of choosing by clapping unto him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. I thank this very God for all he has been doing for me and my family. I say may his name be highly exalted in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, I pray for this, my beloved daddy, that this God will call him in this ministry. It will help him to the end in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for entire family, heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. Me and my family, choosing people, heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Let's appreciate the God of choosing. Let's clap unto him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Lord. I don't know your case. I don't know what the medical people said or what they have said about your case. But I want to say congratulations to you because our pastor will pray for you. And upon his prayer, God of choosing will perform a miracle. And whatever reports the doctors have given to you that have frightened you, I'm assuring you today that report shall be set aside. Remember, they build her for surgery. And a day before that surgery, God of choosing entered into the matter and made her to pass out that, that, that fibroid. So I don't know your case. I'm assuring you as our pastor prays for you today, you will testify. Let's clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. The next testifier. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is uh, Brother Basil Afube. Given at 79 Orchard Road. Orchard. I joined Choosing 2005. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Mother, can I give us more song? Yes, you can, please. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for his goodness and mercy upon my life and my family. Now the main testimony. I want to testify of the goodness of the Lord upon my son, that God grant him the strength and the power to be able to purchase a two-bedroom flat at Lake at the cost of 60 million naira. Hey. Choosing praise the Lord. <laughs> Clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. He purchased two-bedroom flat at Lake. Yes, sir. At what cost? 60 million. 60 million. Wow. God of choosing must have blessed that young man. Let's clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Last week, when I was there in the house to see the house, you know, told me, Daddy, 
it is now my turn to get a wife. Because it just started years, this year. He said, it is my turn now to get a wife. I said, well, God will help you to give you a good wife. Choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for you. As God has been with him in the beginning, so shall I be with him till the end. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I pray for each and every one of us. Heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is your son. I hope he's a choosing. He comes once in a while. He comes once in a while. Yes. Make sure you talk to him and make sure he, he remains a choosing. So that God of choosing will protect him and protect what he has. And make him born again and prepare him for heaven at last. So send our message to him. God of choosing will confirm it in his life. Amen. Clap unto God of choosing. The next testifier. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choosing brethren, praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Please, sir, can I render a song? Yes, you can. Jesus, I salute you. President, President General, General among the, the nation. nation. Yes, sir, I salute you. President General among the nation. God of choosing, we salute you. President General among the nation. President General among the nation. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Lovett Adego K. I joined Choosy in the year 2008. Thank God for making me and my family a Choosy. Thank you, Father. I want to thank God for what he has done in my life, for his goodness and his mercies upon my life and my family. It all started when I got married in the year 2021. So I took him. After I took him, I gave birth and I lost him. I took in again the same thing. So I said, what is this? Even the people I got married before them, they are all carrying their baby and I'm a choosing. I said, okay, the God of choosing knows the best time. Mm. Then it, it, I came to, a, um, by the grace of God, I came to the program when we did our 20, 20 years anniversary. So after the prayer of my daddy, I took him. When I took him, the first month, the second month, all those why that I used to lost my baby. Whenever I'm in, the first sign that I will know that I'm in is I started seeing a war gecko in my house. I started seeing, if I'm one week pregnancy, I started seeing a baby war gecko. Once my pregnancy is growing up, I'll be the, the, the work I call because the biggest one will call me. The more my pregnancy is growing, that is I'll be seeing the size. Mm. And I started asking around. I said, ah, is it that when someone is pregnant, that is a good sign to see what Goku? Because whenever I'm not pregnant, I don't used to see those symptoms. Some will say that ah, it is not good though. Then some will say, okay, I should not be killing the war gecko. I said, ah, but I'm used to be scared of this, and I don't like it in my house. Why would I kill it? Sorry. So. The first one, it happens like that. The second, it happens like that. And after that, I'm in for, if my, my pregnancy has grown like five months, I'll be having a very terrible dreams. I'll have a dream that I give birth and I'll forget my baby at home from morning to evening. Coming back, my baby will be so weak that he will give up and I will cry. That is the same thing I had first and second. And when I took it the third time again, I see the sign of war gecko. I said, what is this? I started praying, I prayed, I told my mommy, she joined me in prayer. So, when I got first, second, and third, and fourth month, I had the same evil dreams again. I had a dream, I give birth, and my baby stood up and told me that, mommy, I'm going. I mm. said, eh, where are you going? She said, I'm going, I'm going. I said, God of choosing, 
My mommy is with me in the dream. She was putting on her prom. I said, Mommy, people should help me pray for me. What is happening? My baby wants to leave me again. And I started crying. And I cried out of the dream. Around 1 or 2, I woke my husband. I said, this same evil dream has started again. He said, what is all this one? I said, okay, luckily enough for me, we're having a program that very day on Sunday. And I said, this same thing will not happen again. I make a vow, me and my husband, we make a vow of 50,000. That if this great God of choosing, the God of my pastor, the God that has never failed, if he gave me a baby, I want to know that this time around, it is the one that gave me this baby. I want a baby boy. I want a baby that is so strong, a baby that when people see, they will know that yes, this one is the handwork of God. And I, I make that vow and I pay the part. Immediately I came to church, I pay part of the vow. So I went home that very day. That day marked the end of that evil dream in my life. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And again, so I, getting to six months, I felt sick. I said, hey, this devil, you are, you, you are too small. My God is more than you. Mm. They admit me, I took blood. And some people be telling me that, ah, did I give you injection? I said, yes. They said, my blood is short and typhoid. Hey, hey, someone that is pregnant, if they give injection, sometimes it might affect the baby. I said, this baby, life has already been seen with my God. That nothing will happen to my baby. So when the time came to give birth, people that were pregnant together, even from the other religion, they gave birth. Ah, people will be asking me, Yabeji, you never born? I said, ah, my time will come. So I said, God, I know you will not disappoint me. So when it gets to three more weeks for me to give birth, we do our projected crusade. I make a vow also that I will not miss that crusade for one day. Even Tuesday service, I will not miss it. And I keep still to eat. So the day I would give birth, it started, the labor started, and my husband was not at home that day. He used to be at home all this while. But that very day, he was not at home. And I said I will not tell any of my neighbor because all of them, they are from other religion. I said I will not tell any of them this time around that I'm in labor. Even my little sister, I didn't wake her. I was just praying. I said, God, give me the strength. Give me the strength. I was praying, feeling the pain. I was praying from around 10 to five in the morning. I said, okay, it is time. I can now go now. Because my sister said, whenever I'm in labor, I should delay so that it will work me very well. I said, okay. I woke my sister. And I went to, I didn't even go to hospital. I went to a midwife house. And it started. I called this God. I called my branch pastor. I said, he should pray for me that I'm in labor. He prayed. And this is how God of choosing gave me a bouncy baby boy. Mm. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Lord. God of choosing proved to everyone that this baby is a gift from him. Mm. My baby, when he got to one month, people be asking me, is this baby of one month? This baby is so strong. Go, ah, this one is too strong. I said, it's not too strong. It's a choosing mopo. Wow. My baby is so strong that since I gave it to him, he has not felt sick. Wow. This God is so great. Clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. But it's true, the joy of God cometh and added no sorrow. I'm here to glorify the name of this God with my remaining part of vow to tell him thank you for not putting me to shame, for not making them to laugh at me, asking me, Shabi, you are a choosing. I said, this God has done it for me. Let his name alone be glorified forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen. I wish my daddy, G.O., heaven at last, his family, the choosing white word, heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. Choosing is blessed. Clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Sister says she made a vow when the time of challenge came. Vowed never to miss Tuesday service. Vowed never to miss project or program. And also vowed cash, and you can see her redeeming the cash. And I believe also she is still faithful to her vow, attending all services. 
like you to borrow from that and make sure in all our services you are there. You never can tell the time, the day, the service that God or chosen will visit you. All our Tuesday service, you must be there Thursday, Sunday, even the workers' meeting and the projector program every Friday evening. Make sure you participate and God or chosen will give you answer to all your problems. Before we listen to the second to the last testifier, let's run through these announcements. This is to remind all the intercessors in Lagos, comprising those in the branches and all the regions and all the autonomous regions, that their one week program, coupled with everyday vigil in preparation for the programs coming up, God's covenant of peace and blessing, the program starts on the vigil and fasting and praying program for all intercessors. It will start on Monday, 25th of March. Your gathering point is still intercessors camp. So remind all the Jesha groups on two sisters of their monthly meeting coming up on 27th of March. The venue is Sanusi Street by Jesha, the Jesha Market by 4.30 p.m. All our pregnant sisters, you are enjoined to visit the choosing hospital and maternity home for your Tineta clinic. We do the clinic every Tuesday and every Thursday of the week. We have pastors that will pray for you. We also have doctors and nurses that will give you health talk concerning your pregnancy. We also have laboratory and scan services that will be of great benefit to you and your baby. Agoda Groups on One, your publicity is coming up on Sunday, 24th of March. Your gathering point is number 27, Ironi Avenue. Your gathering time is 4.30 p.m. This is to remind us through the Region 1 brethren of their projector crusade coming up tomorrow. The venue is number 10, Bamboye Street, by Elaje Gate, Costain Bus Stop. Also, this is to inform all the members of Festac region. The Projector Crusade tomorrow will hold at my two shopping complex in front of Child Foundation Primary and Nursery School inside my two shopping complex. All the chair department members, both those in the headquarter and those on all our branches are reminded of their vigil coming up on Tuesday, 26th of March by 10 p.m. prompt. Second to the last testifier for today. Choose and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please, sir, before, can I render a song to God? Please, you can render a song to God. Okay. Father, may you reign, may you reign. Jesus, may you reign, may you reign. Yesterday you reign, you reign at in my life. Today come and reign, and reign forevermore. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Choma Lovett from Imo State. I joined Chosen in 2018, and I thank God for making me a Chosen. Thank you, Father. I came out to testify of this God's wonders in my life. First, I thank God for granting me my heart desire by giving me a baby, bouncing baby girl. Thank you, Father. You said your desire, yes. bouncing baby girl. girl. Yes, actually, wow. my first baby was a boy. During the time of this, my baby, I came to church. I saw a seed. And I asked God that I know that you are the God of wonders and miracles. I know you will do it for me. I want a baby girl as my second issue. So when I did that, during the time of, when it's time for me to go for scan, 
I went for a scan. The devil came trying to change my baby. Each time I went to scan, the scan, they would tell me it is a boy. Not first, not second, not third. Hmm. But because I believe in this God, I keep telling them I know what this God can do for me. Because he did it in my first baby. I know he will still do it here. So, it came, I even stopped. I said I will not go for scan again. So, I left it till the time for me to give birth. I even bought a baby's clothes, a girl's clothes and keep with faith. Hmm. So, during the time of, it's time for me to give birth. Actually, sorry, I gave birth with CS. I did it myself because the baby was too big. And my scan was showing that I cannot give birth to a baby that is less than 3.5, but she was 4.2. Hmm. So I ordered for the CS. But the devil still did not wait. The devil said, okay, come and pass this one. Let me see. On that day, the date that the doctor gave to me, I came on Thursday. Begin the next week, Thursday, that is the day of the CS. I went to the hospital with my mother, because my mother is a chosen here. She's the one that brought me to this church. So I came with my husband to the hospital. So when it's time, they dressed me up and went to the theater. After when they brought out the baby, the devil came. I passed out. Hmm. I wasn't myself. I saw myself going to a narrow road. That place was very far. Calm, no voice, I can't hear, I can't see anybody. I was just running and running and running. Keep running. So at a point, Someone appeared to me on white. I could not see the face. The face was covered with light. The voice came, my daughter, go back. It's not yet your time. Go and carry your child. Hmm. The voice came two times. I have to run back. Do you know, my beloved people, when I woke up, I saw myself that truly, truly, I have already passed away because hmm. they brought oxygen. I saw myself on oxygen. So I didn't know what happened. The doctors. They told me, they started telling me of what happened. That they even asked me, Madam, which church do you go to? Because they thought that I'm a dead person. Because they, even, the, even the oxygen, I was not responding. Mm. To a point before I coughed, I woke up. That was when I even noticed that I gave birth to a baby girl. Oh. So I came to thank this great God who made it possible for me to be in the land of the living today. Hmm. It's not by my strength, not by my power. But because of his tender mercy and love, I came to say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. I said before they started that CS, I told God that I am a choosing. I will never die. It is not yet my time because he said in the book of Psalm that I shall not die but live and declare his goodness in my life. And I said it that if you do this for me, I will come with my seed and my baby to testify. And here I am today to say, God, this God who do it for me, all the glory, all the honor, all adoration, be ascribed unto your holy name, the King of kings, the Lord of lords. Thank you, Jesus. For Thank you, Father. Clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Lord. So at this junction, I wish my geo heaven at last, all the chosen world by me and my family heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. I have one word to you, for you to tell you, my brothers and sisters, you see this seed and tithes, it pays a lot. Mm. If you keep on giving your seed and tithes, anything you ask, you demand from this God, he will do it for you. Because so many of my fellow antenatal ladies were asking me, Madam, how did you do it? Because many of them that gave birth during the time I gave birth, they gave birth to a boy. But they were like, Madam, how did I say is this God I serve? He's the mighty man in battle and he's the greatest physician. He did it for me. So follow me and praise this God. Choose Thank him. Praise you, the Lord. God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Let's appreciate the Lord by clapping unto him. Thank you, Father. Even after scan confirmed it severally that she was to have a baby boy. But she believed the God of choosing. 
and continued to come to church and sowing seed and decided not to go for scan again and decided to wait on God or choosing to give her the answer. Today, God has chosen has given her a baby girl according to her prayer, according to her desire. Clap unto this God of choosing. He answers prayers. It's here one brethren will meet on Sunday for their publicity. Their meeting point is number eight, Oluwashino Street, by 5 p.m. All the leaders, workers, members are to join the evangelists to publicize the forthcoming program coming up on Saturday at Navy Town, Ojo, by Alakija bus stop. Immediately after the service today, the publicity continues. It will also continue tomorrow, Friday. Then the, the program proper will launch into it. Then the publicity for the next program continues on Monday by 9 a.m. Tuesday, immediately after the morning service, and Wednesday by 9 a.m., and Thursday, immediately after the service for next week. This is to inform all the follow-up members. Take note of this. As many that wish to engage in any commercial activity during the forthcoming crusade, God's covenant of peace and blessing, you must take permission before doing that. So go and see the business committee in the, the business committee at the monitoring committee office. That is where they will give you the approval for such activity. If you have not the permission, you don't engage in such activity. This is to remind all the ushers of their vigil coming up next Thursday, 28th of March. The vigil will hold at their usual stand. The last testifier for today. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choosing brethren, praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. The God of choosing is so great. He's so great. My name is Sister Kileshi Ejimadu. I decided a local workshop, Powerhouse, Railway Company, the Butemeta. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Moderator, please permit me to render a song to my God. Please sing. All glory belongs to Jesus, all glory belongs to Jesus, all glory belongs to my God, all glory belongs to the Choosing Lord. all glory belongs to Jesus, all glory belongs to the I say Lord. all glory belongs to the I say all glory belongs to the Sisters Lord. all glory belongs, belongs to the Brothers Lord. all glory belongs, belongs to the Pastors Lord. all glory belongs, belongs to the Amen Lord. all glory belongs Belongs to Jesus, all glory belongs. I say, all glory belongs to Jesus. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My testimony goes like this I joined Jesus in 2016. I worship at Yaba Branch. My testimony goes like this. When I was pregnant for this, my boy, Domino Ejimadu, I continued going for Atinenta. Reaching seven months, I went for scan. The scan told me that my baby had a stone. I was very happy. For me to return the next appointment, the doctor checked me. That was seven months plus two weeks. The doctor checked me and told me that, Madam, you are contracting already. He said, your baby is lying transfer. I said, uh -uh, but I came the last time here. You told me that my baby has torn. If you see the results with me. He said, that is not his fault now. That what he's seeing now, after checking me, that the baby is lying transfer. I said, ah. before he knew it, the doctor carried me. He said, eh, Madam, let's go. Let's go to the labor ward. I said, ah, to do what? He said, I should follow him. When I get there, he hand me over to the nurses there that they should check on me. 
when the nurses they check on after they check on me, they find out that the baby was lying transfer. They say, Madam, and again, the risk now is that you are even contracting and it's not yet time for you to put to bed. He said, Madam, please call your people, call your people. We are about to operate on you now. Emergency operation. I say, for what? Do you know who you are talking to? I am a choosing. Mm. I am a choosing. I am a choosing. I can never deliver true CS. Mm. All my children have been giving birth myself through the help of God of choosing. Mm. This third one will not take me to CS. I reject it immediately. He said that I should sign. They brought out the form immediately that I should sign. I said, I can never sign this because I have not even contact with my geo. I have not contact my branch pastor. I have not even told my husband, you are asking me to sign that they want to operate on me emergency. I say, it can never happen. I still stand on my ground that I am a choosing. My geo said, whenever we come in contact with such thing, that we should make a call first. They forced me and forced me. I refused. So they told me that, they're not going to bring the other form. They told me that if I didn't sign, that anything that happened to me on the road while going, that is of my own risk. I said, I am a choosing. Nothing will happen to me. Mm. They said, okay, sign here. I sign. I left. They asked me to come back 4 o'clock for the final scan. I told them, okay. When I got home, when I got home, I told my husband everything. He said, never, that we are choosing. We are not for CS. So I told my husband, the next appointment, I'm not going there. Instead, I will come and live here in choosing. It was on Thursday. That day happened to be on Wednesday. The next week, Thursday, I run down to this place. I didn't go to the next appointment. So I run down to this place. When I came here, my Jew has finished preaching. He has spread. He has even gone. He has closed the service. He has entered into his office. Me, I was even about to go. I've carried my back already. My Jew came out again after five minutes. He said, that woman here that they have booked for CS, in the name of Jesus, I cancel it. Go and deliver like the Hebrew women in Jesus' name. Hey. Choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Immediately, I fall under anointing. Hmm. I was standing in that place. I fall under anointing. The other sisters that was complaining this thing to, they told me, he said, I told you, don't worry. When you climb the pulpit, you will mention your case. So when Minetim Gio mentioned that, that my case, I fall under anointing. Choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So after that, when I woke up and I came to the altar here, yeah, I cried and cried and so he said, I went back home. And I said, hey, now I've collected power. Let me return back to this at the natal ground. So when I gone back, I was wearing my apron uh, tied to the king that decided to honor you. Even when I was going to Atinenta, I used to put it on. So that day the doctor saw me and I said, run away soldier. This woman, they have not operated on you. I said, why would they operate on a choosing? They can never operate on me because I am a choosing. He said, today, today, that I will not run away, that they will operate on me. I said, let's see now. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So when it was my time for the doctor to check on me, when I got inside, he said, this choosing woman again. What did they do here? You have not gone for them to operate on you. I said, is that how it is? I am a choosing. He said, since you run away, what is the testimony? What is the miracle? I said, I went to the biggest hospital. He said, which one is the biggest hospital? I said, the Lord's choosing charismatic revival ministry. That is the Lord, the biggest hospital. As you can see, I'm wearing my apron. The king have decided to honor you. He mm. said, wow, this choosing woman. You are a stubborn woman. I said, yes. So when it's time for him to check on me, he asked me to lie down. He said, where is the biggest miracle? I said, you will see the biggest miracle now. When I lie down, he checked on me. He said, wow, your baby has turned back again. Wow. <laughs> choosing, choosing, praise the Lord. Let the choosing, praise the Lord. Choosing, choosing, praise the Lord. Let the choosing, praise the Lord. Let the choosing, praise the Lord. Let the choosing, praise the Lord. Choosing, choosing, praise the Lord. Let the choosing praise the Lord. Clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So after he checked me, he said, no problem. Your baby is sound. You are sound. You are strong. Just go on the door for delivery. You will deliver safely. Mm. I said, don't need to tell me. The God of my Jew, I've signed it already. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So on that day of my delivery, I thank this very God of choosing. In fact, I've never regretted to be a choosing for mm. one minute. 
So on that day of my delivery, I went to Atinenta. They told me that, Madam, you are in labor. I said, no problem. He said, I should call my husband. Where my husband should bring all my things. So when I, when I called my husband, he brought everything. In my own room, where we are, three people were booked for CS. I was the only person that was not booked for CS. So when the time come, those people that were booked for CS, they carried them to CS. It was remaining only one person for CS and I. So the labor was not doing like it was slow. Going slowly, I said, God, I called my GO, he couldn't pick. I sent text message. Maybe it was here, he saw the text message, maybe he now prays for me. So, small time, the labor was now going fast. So, when they were going for that last person, they told me that, Madam, this chosen woman, you should, you should better pray. Oh, by the time we we'll come back for this uh, other person, and you are not, you have not delivered, we will take you and go and, be, uh, and go and operate on you. I say, God forbid. I know the God I serve. He will never put me to shame. Before you go and operate on that person and come back, my baby will be out. He say, I pray so. Choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Before they will carry that other woman and go to theater and come down, they were hearing, yeah, yeah. That was how my baby came out. <laughs> Choose he praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Lord. Choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That was how I deliver safe and sound. Without mm. bleeding, without any CS, without any problem. There was no complication. In fact, I was just so happy. I said, this God, who have done it for me through my geo, may his name alone be highly exalted in Jesus' name. Amen. After three days, I gave birth to my baby. There are some group of people that used to give gifts to baby. So when they came, I was inside my room. I was not even aware that they are giving gifts. I was only hearing people's cry, mothers carrying their baby crying. I said, ah, what is happening here? So the nurse, a nurse uh, walked down to me, choosing woman. He said, come, bring your baby. So when I gone out there, I saw people crying with their baby, holding their baby crying. He said, please. They are complete. I want this choosy woman to be among those that will be giving gifts. Gifts. I said, ah, so something like this is even going on. I did not even know. And I was still wearing down my apron. The king have decided to honor you. So that gift, it was full of, it's a big box full of baby things. And me, I was inside. Other people are there crying for them to give them the, the gift. They did not give them. It was me that was inside my room that they come and call out and give me that gift and take me picture. Choose a prayer. The Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. And they gave me that gift to my baby. He said he's free of charge. In fact, I thank this great God of choosing who has done this so much for me. I say, may his name alone be highly exalted in Jesus' name. Amen. At this junction, I pray for my trio. Last shall be his portion in Jesus' name. Amen. He will never lack. God will give him grace in the name of Jesus. More option to function in the name of Jesus. Heaven at last for all the choosing brethren. I and my family, heaven at last. Choosing his first class. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Clap unto God of choosing. I appreciate the God of choosing by clapping unto him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Just a quick reminder that this Saturday we are having a special program and every person is expected to be there. All our members, all worshipers today, and even those that are not here, tell them we are proceeding to Navy Town 8 a.m. on Saturday for a one-day special crusade titled God That Changes Situation. Every one of us should be in that program, and God of Chosen will bless us. Before the end of the service, we'll announce to you whether there will be buses. I'm sure there will be buses that will carry as many that will come out to the headquarter. And remember the place on our address, it is written Navy Town, Ojo. That does not suggest that it is Ojo Barracks. No, it is just Alakija, very close here. So if you are going through my two, you stop at Alaki Jabo stop, then you cross to the other side. So the program starts by 8 a.m. on Saturday. Now bow your head, close your eyes, and begin to thank the Lord for all the testimonies. Close your eyes, 
begin to thank the Lord for all the testimonies we have had. Amen. Father, bless us as we listen to your word. I pray that the authority and power of believers shall be our portion. That I pray that as we listen to this word, everyone shall operate in dominion, in authority. And we shall trample upon serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of enemies in Jesus' name. And we shall decree a thing, it shall be established in heaven. I pray for the power of believers. In Jesus' powerful name we pray. Turn your Bible to Luke chapter 10, verse 19. Luke chapter 10, reading verse 19. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpent and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Notwithstanding in this, rejoice not, that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice, because your names are written in heaven. Let me ask you this question. If you know the answer, please give me. What can make believers' name to be written in heaven? If you say righteousness or holiness, can I see your hands up? Almost everybody is getting the answer. I congratulate you. Praise the Lord. In First Peter chapter 3, First Peter. I read chapter 3. First Peter chapter 3. And from verse 11, look at your Bible, from verse 11. Let him eschew evil and do good. Let him seek peace and ensure it. For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and his ears are open to their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. And who is he that will harm you if you be followers of that which is good? Amen. Every believer has this power. If you are truly born again, are you hearing me? They have this power through our Lord Jesus Christ. This power came to us through who? If you look at the book of 1 John chapter 5, verse 18, look at your Bible. 1 John chapter 5, verse 18. We know that whosoever is born of God, sinneth not. But he that is begotten of God keepeth himself, and that wicked one toucheth him not. If you are born again, you will not continue in sin. And when you do not continue in sin, the devil cannot touch you. Are you hearing me? Evil spirit cannot touch you. They will not get access to you. They will not torment you. They will not destroy you. When you are born again, the door of sin will be what? Closed. The devil can come and knock. They cannot get access. And that wicked one touched him not. So, I want to pay attention as such that this power of righteousness or power of believers make believers bold as a lion. When you have this power, you become bold as what? Proverbs chapter 28 verse 1. When this power is not there, the believer will lack boldness as such that it can be intimidated and as such that they may not be able to stand before their enemies. In Proverbs chapter 28 and verse 1, look at your Bible. Proverbs 28, verse 1. The wicked flee when no man pursues, but the righteous are bold as what? A lion. 
as long as you are living a righteous life, you can say to I'm robber, I'm a chosen, I'm a chosen. I'm robber, who are you? What happens to the I'm robber? <laughs> it will flee away. You will be bold to declare who you are. But when you are living in sin, you can't have boldness. You can't have the power I'm talking about. So, a righteous person is bold as what? Liar. So, when a believer is clothed with righteousness, nothing can harm such person. No wonder, behold, I give unto you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions. And of all the powers and enemies, and nothing to about any means or to. And what is that power? Righteousness. What is that power? <laughs> but nobody can harm you. In First Peter chapter 3, from verse 12, please open your Bible. Chapter 3, and from verse 12. For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and his ears are open to their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. And who is he that will harm you if you be followers of that which is good? Who? Devil, demon, witches and wizards, occult men and women, marine agents, you shall answer, touch not. Righteousness is the key. That's the power of believers. Praise the Lord. Remember, righteousness make for presence of God. Through of us. Because the eyes of the Lord is over the righteous. So, righteousness make what? For the presence of God. Now, listen to me. And if you are living right, power will be with you. I'm not hearing you very well. And the Bible says in John chapter 8, verse 29, how can that power be with you? Look at John chapter 8, verse 29. How can God be with you? Look at your Bible. John chapter 8, verse 29. In the book of John chapter 8, verse 29, let's read it. And he said, and he that sent me is with me. The Father hath not left me alone, for I do always those things that please him. You see, he that sent me is what? Why is it that God has not left him? Because I do the thing that always pleases him. And therefore, he's always comfortable with you. Every believer and as many who will become believers today must endeavor to maintain righteousness. For that is the only power or supremacy. What is the supremacy, power, authority over unbelievers and devil and demon? What is it? I want to let you know that unbelievers are living righteous life. Are you surprised? But the Bible says that that righteousness they live is like, is like a dirty cloth before God. It's like, I don't know, feed the rags. Because it's not based on who? Jesus Christ. The only difference between you and them is that your foundation of righteousness is laid on who? Jesus Christ. Therefore, your supremacy over them is righteousness through Jesus Christ. Unbelievers, many of them can claim to be more righteous, they can keep to many things, I said, and stand by it, and you cannot. But I'm telling you today that your righteousness where you are better and stronger than them is that you are born again and then in Christ. And then you are living righteousness based on foundation of Jesus Christ. Because through one man, sin came into the world. Through one man, righteousness came into the world. And if you are born of the man of righteousness, you begin to live righteous life. But if you are not born of the man of righteousness, you are a sinner. All your righteousness end up in what? In sin. That is why you are stronger than the devil. You are stronger than the demons. You are stronger than unbelievers. And that is why they are fighting you. What they are fighting you is no other thing than the righteousness of God through Jesus Christ. If you are not in Christ, your righteousness is unacceptable. It's counterfeit. But if you are in Christ, your righteousness counts. 
That's why you must go on to live righteousness if you are a child of God. That's why seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and every other shall be what? Added unto you. In 1 John chapter 3, verse 8. 1 John chapter 3 and verse 8. He that committed sin is of the devil, for the devil sinned it from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. Verse 9. Whosoever is born of God does not commit sin, for his seed remains to him, and he cannot sin because he is born of God. So, it is very clear, a Christian is not a sinner. A sinner is not a Christian. Is it clear? Praise the Lord. If you are there asking what is sin, look at First John chapter 5 verse 17. He said, all unrighteousness is sin. That means anger is sin. Hatred is what? Sin. Envy is what? Pride. Lying. Unbelief. Unforgiveness. Selfishness. Bitterness. Keeping malice. Bearing grudge. Covetousness. All these things are terrible sin. Speaking evil of other people, gossiping, backbiting, and cursing people, swearing with heaven and earth, worshiping idol, making idol, having idol in your heart. All these things are terrible sin. Going to native doctors to make sure, or being a native doctor, or maybe you belong to a secret court, or open court, campus court, market court, Village court, international court, all form of occultism is what? Sin, terrible wickedness in the sight of God. Therefore, if you have their property, whether book or ring or anything, burn them, renounce them, and surrender to Jesus Christ and make your Lord their personal Savior. I want to remind you, all those people who are into stealing, any kind of stealing, picking pockets, stealing where you are working, from your husband's purse, from your wife's purse, from your parents' purse, or you are among those people that break home in the absence of the owner to pack their load, or it could be that you are involved into one chance, motorcycle robbery, arm, -arm robbery, any kind of robbery, any kind of stealing. Is a terrible sin. Whether you are still in the exam, is a terrible sin. I mean, you are ways. And all those people that are involved into this kind of thing, maybe into fraud, they do people, black people, white people, government, they are dupes. If you are among them, return the money. I mean, you are ways. And don't say, I'm bringing the money to church. Don't bring it to us because we don't need it at all, at all. I mean, you are ways. Or maybe you are involved into masturbation, fornication, adultery, or you are a prostitute. You sell your body for money, or you patronize the prostitute, or you are involved into abortion, you kill unborn babies. You must repent to them and say, Lord, I am sorry. Or you are into homosexual, lesbianism. This is a gross wickedness against God, against humanity. Or maybe you are among those people that you are a killer, a murderer. You are into uh, ritual killing, hired assassin. You are a killer. You shed human blood. No murderer has inheritance in the kingdom of God. No murderer can enter heaven. Therefore, repent today and promise God no more. Are you a kidnapper? You kidnap people to make money. Repent today. And if you are involved in all these things, we don't need your money at all, at all. Are you among those people that you beat your wife, or you fight your husband, or you disobey your husband, or your parents, or you disobey the word of God? Repent today and say, Lord, I am sorry. Or maybe where you are working, you don't do the work, you are collecting salary. That means you're a thief. Or you have to be bring down the company and you're still collecting salary. That is stealing. Or people are working for you, you don't pay them. You must pay them and God will bless you. I mean, you are ways. Or maybe you take bribe and give bribe 
or extort money from people because of your uniform, your position, or you are among those people that are into smuggling, you must repent and say, Lord, I am sorry. Or it could be that you take snuff, you smoke cigarettes, in their hem, cocaine, heroin, or you are selling it, you are buying it for people, or that's your business. That is sin. Don't sell it anymore. Don't buy it for people. Repent and promise God no more. And don't bring the money here. We don't need it. Or maybe you're among those that take white wimbo, brukutu, local gym. Or maybe you're involved into taking um, alcoholic drinks or maybe be uh, hot drinks, foreign or local. Renounce them and say, Lord, I am sorry. I will not sell it. I will not drink it. I will not buy it for people. I will not even keep company with drunkards. I mean the you are ways. And the Lord will bless you. I don't know the evil you are into. Maybe you are into bleaching. You bleach your body and become yellow overnight. Or you make up. Or you are among those that are into business of uh, making up people. Repent and say, Lord, no more. Or you marry and divorce. Or your second wife or third wife. Now, the Bible says marriage is between a man and a woman. And until the dead, do your part. Look at the Bible. In Matthew chapter 19. Matthew chapter 19. Chapter 19 verse 4. I read. And he answered and said unto them, Have you not read? That he which made them at the beginning, made them men and female. And said, For this cause shall a man leave father and mother, and shall cleave to his wife, and they twins shall be one flesh. Wherefore, they are no more twin, but one flesh. What therefore God has joined together, let no man put asunder. What God has joined together, nobody should divide it. Nobody should destroy it. Marriage between a man and a woman, and until they do your part. And if you have left your husband, return back to him. And if you send away your wife, your first wife, bring her back. And if your second wife or third wife, pack your load and go. You have no husband. You are committing adultery. Or your man that married three, four, remove the second and third one, and fourth one, return your first wife. Except death separates you. Praise the Lord. Amen your ways, and the Lord will bless you. Honestly, the Lord will bless you. Praise the Lord. Don't forget, if you are among those people, that paint your hand and paint your leg and paint your mouth and paint your eye and paint your body or you put extra finger, extra nose, extra eye, attachment, weave on, palming, earrings or bango, you make up your body. You must repent to that and say, Lord, I am sorry. I will never do it again. Or you dress to show your chest, your armpit, your tummy, your waist, your nakedness, your laughs. That's abomination. A Christian is not a seducer. A seducer is not a Christian. Confess these things and say, Lord, I am sorry. Because Jeremiah chapter 4 verse 30 says, when they are spoiled, what shall they do? Do they go after painting? After ornament? Whenever a woman has spoiled, you begin to make up. Whenever a young man has spoiled, you begin to do jelly coy, rough hair, scattered hair, and plait hair like a woman. And they began to speak like white people. I mean, the you are ways. You do hear me. And the Lord will show you mercy. The Bible said, for those women wearing trousers and men wearing skirt and blouse, the Bible said it is the abomination. Deuteronomy 22 verse 5. Deuteronomy 22 verse 5. I read, The woman shall not wear the wish pertaining to a man. Neither shall a man put on woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. All the people that dress like that, they are what? And Sami. Abominable people can never enter heaven. Are you a woman wearing trousers? A man wearing skirt and blouse? That is sin. Look at the Bible. In Revelation 21, verse 8. For the fearful and unbelieving and abominable and murderers and homongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars that have their part in the lake which born with fire and brimstone which is the second death. So, amend your ways so that you will not go to hell fire. 
Search your life. God loves you so much. That's why He has brought you. I've been looking for you and brought you to choose Him, where He refines you, transforms you, and makes you a holy person. And eventually, you make heaven at last. Don't forget, in Proverbs 28, verse 13, God says, He that covereth his sin shall not prosper. But who shall confess them and forsake them shall have mercy. In Exodus chapter 12, verse 13, the Bible said, God said, when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And he's talking about the blood of animal there. But you use it to show the blood of Jesus Christ, which is to come in the New Testament. If you look at John chapter 1 and verse 29, you can see that God is talking about the blood of Jesus Christ. Chapter 1 verse 29. John, the next day, John said Jesus coming unto him and said, Behold the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. Who is that Lamb? Jesus Christ. No wonder the Bible said in John chapter 3 verse 16, For God so loved the world, and he gave his only begotten son, whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And look at the Bible. In John chapter 19 verse 30, when Jesus shed the blood, he said what? It is finished. And in John chapter 14 verse 6, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. And in John chapter 10 verse 10b, Jesus said, I come that you might have life. Have it more abundantly. And in John chapter 8, verse 36, he said, If the Son therefore shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. And if you look at Matthew chapter 11 to 8, Jesus said, Come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Will you come? Jesus said, What? I didn't hear you. Jesus said, What? Will you come? Now, if you look at the book of John chapter 1 verse 12. He said, But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. As to receive him, power of sonship shall be given to you. You shall become a child of God and a new creature in Jesus' name. Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. He said, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, is a new creature. All things have passed away, and behold, all things have become new. Your life shall be transformed. The Lord will walk on you. He will make you a new creature in Jesus' name. In Romans chapter 10, verse 13, he said, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So, as you call upon the Lord, and go on and do the will of God. All the blessings of God will be yours in Jesus' name. Bow thy head and let us pray. Search your life and give your life to Jesus. Everybody pray. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. You will seek me and find me when you shall search for me with all your heart. Everybody pray. Everybody pray. Call upon him. Everybody pray. Surrender to Jesus. Make you a Lord, your personal Savior. Everybody pray. Father, have mercy upon my people. Whatsoever they have done, Lord, show them mercy. Forgive them because of Jesus who died for us. Forgive and cleanse everyone. Transform everyone. Lord, save everyone. Bless everyone. Intervene, O oh Lord. I am sorry, Lord. I am sorry, Lord. Father, I am sorry, Lord. Oh, Lord, I am sorry, Lord. I'm sorry, Lord. Sorry, Lord. Jehovah. Oh, Lord. And one more time. Sorry, Lord. Jehovah. Oh Lord, eyes closed and head bowed. That person that is still committing masturbation, can you raise your hand up and say, Lord, I will do it no more. Eyes closed, head bowed. Eyes closed. God bless you there. 
that person also that have unforgiving heart, and you also that patronize the prostitute, keep your hands up and say, God, no more. I close and head bow. I'm also praying for you committing fornication. Can you raise your hand up and say, God, forgive me. That person smoking in their hair, and the person also smoking cigarette, keep your hands up, promise God, no more. The person taking like holy drinks, keep your hands up, promise God, no more. The person that commit adultery, keep your hands up, promise God no more. The person also that is stealing and robbing, keep your hands up and say, God, no more, show me mercy. Eyes closed and head back. That person fighting and quarreling, keep your hands up, promise God no more. And that person that commit abortion, promise God no more. The one that go to native doctors to make sharp, and the one that belong to a secret court, keep your hands up, promise God no more. As many of you that are ready to give your life to Jesus, keep your two hands up. Say this word after me. Almighty God, I come before you in the name of Jesus Christ. But I confess that I'm a sinner. I am very sorry for all my sins. Lord, I promise you, I will never continue in them anymore. I confess and I believe that Jesus Christ died for me. He shed his precious blood for me and he was buried. On the third day, he rose again for my justification. Almighty God, use the blood of Jesus Christ. Wash my sins away from my heart. From this moment, I reject the devil. I renounce all his evil. Jesus Christ, come into my heart. Be my Lord. Be my personal Savior. Cancel my name in the book of death. Write my name in the book of life. Give me power to sin no more. In Jesus' name I pray. Keep your two hands up and pray for you. Sing this song. I surrender. I surrender. Oh, oh, to Jesus, blessed Savior. I surrender. I surrender. Keep your hands up. Our Father in heaven, I come in the name of Jesus. Father, I present this, my brethren, before you. Whatsoever they have done, known and unknown to them. Father, in your rod, remember mercy. Every yoke of power that makes them to do evil. By your authority, I break the power of sin in Jesus' name. I claim their soul, their spirit, their body for Jesus Christ. Father, cancel their name in the book of death. Write their name in the book of life. Give them power to sin no more in Jesus' name. I plead the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' wondrous name we pray. And it is amen in heaven. Still bow your head. Close your eyes and pray for our pastor. We'll be coming to minister to us live. Bow your head now. Pray for the servant of God. Pray for our pastor. Ask that God or chosen will strengthen him, increase him. Ask that the protection of the Almighty God should continually be upon his family. Pray for him that the grace of God will increase in his life mightily. For the work ahead that has not been done is bigger than the one that has been done. Therefore, there is need for more grace. 
more strength. As for increase of God's wisdom in his life, ask that the favor he has with God, that God should increase it mightily. Let him continually operate under the favor of the Almighty God. Pray that God or chosen will fight all his battles, all the enemy's actions against him in the secret, in the open, that God or chosen will discover all the enemies and make them to flee, make them to submit totally to him. Pray for increase of God's power, increase of God's anointing upon his life, needed for the work ahead. This second phase of revival is need for great increase of power. Pray that God or children will continue to work with him, will work on him, work for him. Pray for thorough maintenance upon his health, upon his entire family. Let the hand of the Almighty God continue to maintain their body, maintain their health, give them perfection in health. Pray for him. Pray especially all the programs ahead, starting from Saturday till upper weekend. That God or chosen will help to advertise the program and use our pastor mightily as he has always used him to bring people to Christ, all the worshipers that will be in the program on Saturday. As the God of Chosen will bring genuine salvation into their lives as our pastor ministers to them. Pray that God of Chosen will go ahead of us in all the programs. Pray for help from above that God of Chosen to continually help our pastor help the church in the threefold visions and the ten billion souls mandate. We need the help of the Almighty God to bring to fulfillment the visions and actualization of the mandate. Pray that God or Jesus will continue to help our pastor, it will help the entire family. Pray that God will give us conducive weather for Saturday. So we go there to represent him, to win souls. That God will give us a very friendly weather. That will make the program very successful. that God of Jesus will advertise the program in the spirit, in the physical realm. Every person will receive invitation both for the covenant of peace and blessing program. And let him help to advertise the program and also use you to bring souls to the program. 
come Saturday 23rd and 30th and 31st. Our God of Chosen will use you as a worker to bring multitude into the kingdom. Pray that every person you will invite to the program, God of Chosen will make them obey the invitation and yield to that invitation. Pray against all the plans of the enemies, against the program on Saturday, 23rd, and the Easter program, 30th and 31st, whatever be the plans of the enemy, let God of choosing discover their plans and disappoint them. Any plan to hinder, to disorganize, to oppose, to hinder anybody from coming, let the God of choosing disappoint the plan, the planners. Let God of choosing oppose them that want to oppose the program in any way. For unto him shall the gathering of the people be twenty third, thirtieth, and thirty fourth, and he will walk, and none can hinder him. special way. Whatever be the expectation, whatever be your needs, whatever you came believing God for this program, the Lord will do it for you. So as many of you that have been going through terrible problems, and it appears there is no solution anyway. I want to remind you there is a solution for you. <laughs> because your God, our God, is the covenant keeping God. Every promise. All the promises he has made, all of them is a solution to your problem. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Because whatever God said, he will do it. If you believe it, say amen. <laughs> now, any contrary spirit that followed you into this place, that spirit must leave you now. Heavenly Father, as the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost, that right now, one by one, begin to conduct deliverance. Anywhere they are bound, anywhere they are tied, anywhere they are mentioning their name on the midnight, wherever they presented their pictures, wherever they are doing evil, any shrine, any altar, any river, any kingdom, in the astral world, in the river, in the ocean, wherever they have put your name and calling upon you, your family, and all the demons that were assigned to follow you, 
all the demons they projected to control your life. In the name of Jesus, receive deliverance. The Kapasu Kataya Maraka Stubborn Spirit Husbands. Spirit Husbands. Pack your load, pack your load. Pack everything you deposited in that woman now. Everything, all the objects, all the evil. Oh, yeah, begin to come out quickly. Spirit husbands, pack your load, cash fire, cash fire. Spirit wife, cash fire. Python spirit, serpentine spirit, queen of heaven, queen of the black sea, angel beauty, serpentine spirit, spirit of death, cash fire. Holy Ghost, wherever they lock their spirit in prison, wherever they are bound them that they will not serve God or make progress in their life. Holy Ghost, as by your power, step into that place. Destroy the place, destroy the prison, release them in Jesus' name. Please, don't give me a sign. Give me a sign. Anywhere that tie your soul. In the name of Jesus, I lose you. Any spirit that follow their family. And all of them are suffering limitations. Suffering in poverty. And delay in marriage. In the name of Jesus, I lose you. Prison of disappointment. Prison of sickness and diseases. Prison of poverty. Prison of barrenness. I lose you. I say to you free. Holy Ghost. Familiar spirit. Ancestral spirit. Queen of course. Snake serpentine spirit. Cash fire come out. Holy Ghost. Wherever they tie your spirit, wherever they tie your future, wherever they tie your progress, wherever they tie you, I lose you in the name of Jesus. Please, please, please. But show me a sign. I need a sign. I need a thorough sign. Liberate this person. Young man, I liberate you. Whatever they have deposited in your life, I lose you. I liberate you. Lose, 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 lose. Holy Ghost, right. Spirit of untimely death. I tormented by fire, come out in Jesus' name. Familiar spirit, marine spirit, ancestral spirit, catch fire, come out in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost. So many people are receiving that deliverance now. One by one. Whatsoever. Whosoever assigned to waste your life. In the name of Jesus, I waste them now. 
wherever there is an altar of affliction altar of affliction the name of Jesus I destroy it now that cause cause follow you, you. nothing you does the end well spirit of cause spirit of cause oh, yeah. come out and enter fire in Jesus name yes. Whatsoever they said, and that spirit has been following you to let I cancel that evil. <laughs> Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, all that moving objects, all that cobwebs, all that heavy loads. Cash fire, come out in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost. From today, I break the yoke of limitation in your life. Lord, show me a sign. Where is that person? Limitation. Affecting the whole family because of course. I wear the cost. Lose, 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 lose. All the evil I mean happen in your life, whatever, wherever be the shine, I block the evil. From today, I decree freedom for you. I decree deliverance for you. <laughs> now, that person that had terrible dream, how you are wandering in unknown place, today I recover your soul. <laughs> I command deliverance, 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 deliverance. Spirit of backwardness. Spirit of rising and falling. I bind you, I bind your power. I cast your abuse in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost. Whatsoever they have said, the word of that enemy is a word of grass. Today, the word of the Lord shall prevail over your enemy. <laughs> that dream from today, I lose this young woman from that wrong marriage in Jesus' name. <laughs> La Krama Divi Kataya, Queen of Kush, Queen, Queen of Heaven. Catch fire, come out in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost. Every one of you, you will go home to that free. That it shows that young man a sign. Whatever covenant that your father entered with occult kingdom, and initiated all of you. And their father has gone, and you have been suffering. In the name of Jesus, I liberate you from that evil. <laughs> and I come on freedom for it now, now, now. Please, please. Lay that power, lay that power, lay that spirit come out of your body in Jesus' name. I'm still waiting for somebody. I'm still waiting for you. Your deliverance is not tomorrow, but now. Now, now. Lord, show me a sign. Let Kataya Maraka, every spirit speaking inside you, 
causing confusion in your life. May this be cash fire. Come out in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost. Yes, somebody, you are receiving great deliverance now. Great deliverance. Great deliverance. That I stand here by your authority and I command freedom for my people. Deliverance for my people. Every spirit that has hindered them and made their life unbearable. No joy, no peace, no progress, affliction, trouble, left, right, fall, and back. They must be free. Because your covenant was said, if the Son therefore shall make us free, we shall be free indeed. And whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be delivered. Now, as I pray, as I count three, wherever they are bound, Father, let them be delivered. Any spirit that inside them walking against them, afflicting them, oppressing them, as I count three, let this be come out and enter no more. Spirit of affliction, spirit of poverty, spirit of sickness, uh, pack your load. Pack your load, pack your load, pack your load. I do not permit you to remain in this vicinity. I do not permit you to continue to torment these ones. I do not permit you to enter any human being. As I count three, pack your load, come out, enter the bottom of this one quickly, quickly, keep quiet, keep quiet. Leave that lady now quickly. Every delay, disappointment in your life, I break the power now quickly. Enter fire. I command you, pack all those moving objects, internal hotness of the body, pack all the evil, come and enter fire in Jesus' name. Oh, yeah. Pack the poverty, pack the suffering, pack the affliction. Oh, yeah. Come out quickly, come. Enter fire. I do not want you to enter any human being. Quickly, two out. Anywhere they are holding your image, and by extension, holding you from progress, from conception, from marriage, from rising in life, from making progress, I lose you. Lose, 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 lose. Just watch out. Remember, this is a deliverance time. And in deliverance, you don't rush it. You allow the Lord to go to anywhere that I them, bound them, and lose them and deliver them. Lord, show them a sign. Great deliverance is going on. Spirit of cause come out, spirit of poverty come out, spirit of barrenness come out, spirit of affliction come out, every of cause will come out, every spirit of cause come out. Catch fire, catch fire. Three, go. Enter fire, enter bottomless speed. enter fire. Lord, I command deliverance for your people in Jesus' name. <laughs> I pass a decree. No one that is hearing me in this place, no one that is represented in this place, no one 
that is watching me all over the world, that is bound, that is afflicted, that is possessed, that shall remain the same. In the name of Jesus, I decree your freedom. I decree your deliverance. Be free. Quickly. Out. Out. Out of their body. Out of their way. Holy Ghost. Precious Father, by the authority in the name of Jesus, I bind the devil. I bind the principalities and powers. I bind the marine spirits. I bind spirit of cost. I bind the queen of heaven. I bind the python spirit. I bind the spirit of affliction. I bind the poverty. I bind the clean spirit. I cast the abyss in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost. My daddy, I pray for your people. Whatever problem they brought here shall never follow them out. <laughs> that person with breast lumps, I command it to disappear. That person with forgetfulness, I cancel it for you. The person with waist pain, I cancel it in Jesus' name. And that ratchets and scratches, I command you to disappear in Jesus' name. I cause that typhoid fever. I command you to go in Jesus' name. My daddy, I cancel that operation for somebody. Hyena operation be cancelled. Father, let that hyena disappear in Jesus' name. And I pray for you. Whatever be the battle you are going through, Lord, take over the battle. Fight for this person, deliver this person in Jesus' name. That evil personality that have vowed to destroy this person. Now hear me, wherever you are. I give you three days to stop all your activities and allow that person to be free. If you refuse, I declare judgment. <laughs> oh Lord, deliver this one by your power in Jesus' name. <laughs> Wherever they tie your pregnancy, I lose you. And wherever they stood against that be a marriage, I cancel the evil. <laughs> Lord, fight for my people. Lord, defend my people. Lord, deliver my people. Father, bless them in Jesus' name. I cancel that liver complication. I cancel every swelling body be healed in Jesus' name. And fight for my people, deliver my people, heal my people, meet the need of each and every one. My power in Jesus' name. As I speak your word, take over. Bless everyone. Thank you very, very much. In Jesus' powerful name, we pray. Shall we get seated? Praise the Lord. Amen. Do it for me. Do it for me. Do it for me. All the glory will be your own. Father. Father in heaven, Jehovah, our Father in heaven, Jehovah. 
Exodus chapter, uh, chapter 3, verse 6. Exodus chapter 3. I read from verse 6. And it, it reads Exodus chapter 3, from verse 6. Moreover, he said, I am the God of thy father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look upon God. And the Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people, which are in Egypt. I have heard their cry by the reason of the past masters. For I know they are sorrows. And I am come down to deliver them out of the hands of the Egyptians and to bring them all out of that land unto a good land and a large unto a land flowing with milk and honey unto the place of the Canaanites and the Hittites and the Amorites and the Perizzites, and the Hivites, and the Jebusite. In Matthew chapter 16, I read from verse 18. Matthew 16. Reading verse, from verse 18. And I saw some to thee, and thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And in Matthew chapter 24, Matthew 24, I read verse 35. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my ways shall not pass away. From this chapter, some verses, I'm bringing to you the topic. The covenant keeping God. Our Father in heaven is the covenant keeping God. He is God, the abodement of holiness, abodement of power, of abodement of righteousness. He is the abodment of every good thing. In fact, whatever promise or agreement he made. He will fulfill the promise because he cannot lie. I do not know the promises you have discovered in the Bible that God has made with you. I'm assuring you, go keep the promise because he cannot lie. If you look at the Bible in Numbers chapter 23, I read from verse 19. Numbers 23, and from verse 19, look at the Bible, and I read 
Numbers 23. Look at this. Read it, verse 19. And it reads, God is not a man by he should lie. Neither the son of man by he should repent. Had he said, and shall he not do it? Or had he spoken, shall he not make it good? So, it is very clear what God said, he will do it. Because he cannot lie. Praise the Lord. In fact, in Titus chapter 1, verse 2, Titus chapter 1, reading verse 2, I read, Titus is after the book of Timothy, you get Titus chapter 1, and verse 2, and it says, verse 2, and I read, in hope of eternal life, which God that cannot lie promised before the world began. God has made promise and he will fulfill the promise. In Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 12, Jeremiah chapter 1, I read verse 12. And all I want you to understand that whatever promise God has made, whatever God has spoken concerning us is an agreement and is a covenant. That work must be fulfilled. If you look at Jeremiah chapter 1, reading verse 12, look at the Bible, and it says, and I read chapter 1 verse 12, Then said the Lord unto me, Thou, art, thou hast wished seen, for I will hasten my word to perform it. I will hasten it. I will watch over my word to fulfill it. In Isaiah chapter 55, verse 10, Isaiah 55, and read from verse 10, look at your Bible. All I want you to understand, God is not a man. Whatever he said, he will surely bring it to pass. Isaiah 55, reading verse 10, and it reads, verse 10, for as the rain coming down and the snow from heaven and return, returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, and make it bring forth and board, and it that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the things was, where, where to I send it. What God said, He said, I will bring it to pass. He says something to Abraham in Genesis chapter 12. Genesis chapter 12, I read from verse 1. Genesis chapter 12, look at the Bible. God, whatever he said, must surely come to pass. Chapter 12 and verse 1. Now, the Lord has said unto Abraham, Get thee out to thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, on the land that I will show thee, and I will make of thee of a great nation. And I will bless thee and make thy name great. And thou shalt be a blessing. And I will bless them that bless thee. Look at it. I will bless them that bless thee. And cost him and cost him that cost thee. And in thee shall all families of earth be blessed. So God has made this promise unto our father of faith and I, I want you to understand all these promises and all his word shall never go unfulfilled he fulfilled everything he had said so it is time 
for God to renew our covenant on this coming Easter. The Easter program on 30 and 31st. God is going to renew the covenant he has with the chosen people. So today, God is said to remind us that he is the covenant keeping God and that he will fulfill the covenant he has made with the chosen ones. That covenant must be what? Fulfilled. Whatever God said concerning us, he will bring it to pass. If you look at the Bible, in the book of um, Isaiah chapter 60, verse 1, Isaiah chapter 60, I read concerning the chosen ones, and he said, Arise, shine, for the light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and cross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. And the Gentiles shall come to thy light, and came to the brightness of the rising. Lift up thy eyes round about, and see, all they, all they gather themselves together, they come to thee. Thy son shall come from far, and thy daughter shall be nursed at thy side. Then thou shalt see and flow together, and thy heart shall fear and be enlarged, because the abundance of the sea shall, abundance of the sea shall be converted unto thee. The forces of the Gentiles shall come unto thee. The multitude of camels shall cover thee. The dromedresses of Midian and Epha and all to other place, all the from Sheba shall come, they shall bring gold and incense. They shall show for the praises of the Lord. All the flocks of Keda shall be gathered together unto thee. The rams of Naboth shall minister unto thee. They shall come up with acceptance of my altar. And I will glorify the house of my glory. Who are these that fly as cloud as the doors to their windows? Surely the eyes shall wait for me. The chiefs of touches first to bring thy son from far, their silver and their gold with them unto the name of the Lord thy God and to the Holy One of Israel because he has glorified thee. And the sons of strangers shall build up thy works, and their kings shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor have I had mercy on thee. Therefore thy gates shall be open continually, they shall not be shut day nor night, that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles and their kings, and that their kings may be brought. Verse 12. For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Yeah. Those nations shall be utterly wasted. And look at verse 13. And the, the glory of Lebanon shall come unto thee. The fig tree, the pine tree, and the boss together to be the place of my sanctuary. And I will make the place of my feet glorious. The sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee. And all they that despise thee shall bow themselves at the sole of thy feet. And they shall call thee the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Whereas thou has been forgotten, forsaken, and hated, so that no man went through thee. I will make thee an eternal excellence, a joy, a joy of many generations. And look at that place. Thou shalt also suck the meek of the Gentiles, and shalt suck the blessed of kings, and thou shalt know. That I, the Lord, am thy Savior and thy Redeemer, the mighty one of Jacob. For grass 
I will bring gold. For iron and for iron, I will bring silver. And for wood, brass. And for stones, iron. I will also make thy officers peace. And thy exalters righteousness. Violence shall no more be had in thy land. Wasting or destruction within thy borders, but thou shalt call thy word salvation and thy gate praise. The sun shall be no more thy light by day, neither for the brightness shall be upon shall the moon give light unto thee, but the Lord shall be unto thee an everlasting light. Thy God, thy glory. Thy sun shall no more go down. Neither shall thy moon withdraw itself. For the Lord shall be thy everlasting light. And the days of thy morning shall be over. Thy people also shall be all righteous. They shall inherit the land forever. The branch of my planting, the works of my hands, that I may be glorified. And a little one shall become a thousand. And a small one, a strong nation. I, the Lord, will hasten it in his time. You see, this word of promises was not made to me while I was in consciousness. It was made to me in subconsciousness. I was sleeping. And then this covenant was, this promise was brought to me. And I was reading and reading and reading this particular chapter. And I woke up. And I was saying, but what is all this? The Lord reminded me, I've told you what I'm going to use you to do. But it's like you are saying, how can you do it? Now, I'm showing you now the scriptures so that you know that the word of God is truth. This is what I want to do in your life. And I want to let you know, when I received this ministration, the Lord chosen was not established. When I received this ministration, we don't have what you see today. You don't see all the camera that is around here now. And all the things that I see all over the places, all the multitude coming from everywhere and becoming chosen. It's just because this is the covenant God has with your pastor. And this covenant must be what? It's not by power. It's not by might. He said, I will hasten it in his time. And I'm telling you, God is set to fulfill the covenant. That is why he's renewing, he's bringing us today to know that this covenant must surely come to pass. And as we come Saturday and Sunday of 30 and 31st, this covenant shall be renewed. If you believe it, say amen. Do you know everything about the Lord chosen is as a matter of this covenant? Are you hearing me? Because God cannot lie. Whatever he says, he watches over it to do what? To perform it. And so, be rest assured that I and you, God has something for us. And he has made the promise and he cannot lie. He see you. All I'm assuring you, it is your time to shine. No matter the darkness and wickedness and evil going on in the society, he said, arise and shine. Because the glory of the Lord is risen upon the gross darkness shall cover the earth, gross darkness the people, but the glory of the Lord shall be seen upon the chosen people. If you believe it, say amen. Now, this is your promised covenant God made with your pastor. Now, let's move ahead. If you look at this place, in the book of Ezekiel chapter 34, I read from verse 25, Ezekiel 34, reading from verse 25, and it reads, And I will make with them a covenant of peace. 
and will cause the evil beast to cease out of the land. And they shall dwell safely in the wilderness and sleep in the wood. And I will make of them and the places round about my heel a blessing. And I will cause the shower to come down in his season. That shall be showers of blessing. And the tree of the feet shall yield her fruit, and the, the air shall yield her increase, and they shall be set in the land, in their land, and shall know that I am the Lord. When I have broken the bands of their yokes, and delivered them out of the hands of those that serve themselves of them, I am assuring you, this covenant will be fulfilled. Covenant of peace, of long life, and blessings shall be our portion in Jesus' name. If you look at the book of First uh, uh, Peter chapter two, verse nine, First Peter chapter two, look at your Bible. God has something to do, something to do with us, and I want to assure you, as a choosing person, my friend, you have a portion in the Lord. There is nothing to worry, nothing to fear. I'm assuring you, God will take care of you. If you believe it, say amen. amen. Uh, I read First Peter chapter 2, verse 9. We have a place in the Lord. And I'm assuring you that God knows you. He knows that you exist. And everything about you is about the Lord. In chapter 2, verse 9. Look at that place. First Peter chapter 2, verse 9. And it reads, But ye are what? A chosen generation. My brethren, listen to me. You see, this is our generation, my friend, which shall be in charge until Jesus comes. Now, look at that place. We are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and a holy nation. A peculiar people uh, that you should show forth the praises of him who had called you after darkness into his marvelous light, which in time past were not a people, but are now what the people of God, which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. You see this covenant. My friend, it's for you and for me. Are you here? If you be a chosen, I'm assuring you, God has chosen us as a royal priest, a peculiar people, a holy nation. I'm assuring you, God has nothing to do with you. And so, you shouldn't bother yourself on trouble. I will show you what to do at every point in time. Remind God of the promises. God will bring it to pass. Can I hear you say amen? amen? And so take note. Everyone should understand that God will surely fulfill the promise. Will he? He has made to us all the promises that are made to us in the Holy Scripture. God will bring them to pass. <laughs> Do you believe it? I say what God said concerning us. It is the responsibility of God to fulfill it. It's not their responsibility. God told the children of Israel, I bring you out of Egypt. I will take you to the promised land. It's the responsibility of God. God made the promise to Abraham to give me a child. A child of his own power. It's the responsibility of God to fulfill it. And I want to let you know, God entered the covenant with Israelite and they, to make, in, they make them his firstborn first and to walk with them and God fulfill it. I want to let you know uh, the, it is the responsibility of God to fulfill his covenant with his people. The covenant he made with us, my friend God will fulfill it. Do you believe it? Well, whether you believe it or not, I have nothing to worry in your very eyes, you will see the, for all the promises being fulfilled one by one. If you look at Psalm 89, Psalm chapter 89, let's see something. 
Psalm 89, I read verse 33. Look at your Bible. Psalm chapter 89, and from verse 33. Nevertheless, my loving kindness will I not utterly take from him, nor suffer my faithfulness to fail. My covenant will I not break, nor utter the thing that is gone out of my lips. Any statement I made, I can't change it. Promises I made, I will surely do all. I will never break it. You see the promise that God made with us in these scriptures we are reading. Whether it be Isaiah chapter 60, whether it be the book of Ezekiel, whether it be the book of 1 Peter chapter 2, I'm assuring you, God can never break them. He can never change. As long as we remind God and lay hold on them, God will bring them to pass in Jesus' name. I said, God cannot alter his promise. Look at verse 3. Verse 3. Uh, uh, Psalm 89. I read verse 3. Chapter 89. Verse 3. I have made what? A covenant with my choosing. Do you know God I make covenant with us? As he made covenant with um, David, with uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, God has made a covenant with the chosen. And he said, this covenant, I will not, I I'm not hearing you, I will not break. Listen, I have made covenant with my chosen. I am very happy God has made covenant with me with you <laughs> will he fulfill it yes. and he said and he said i have sworn unto david my servant he said i have sworn my friend listen to me whatever god said to the people of old and to those i had covenant with god is also saying the same thing he has sworn and he must surely bring it to pass if you believe it say amen yes. so take note God has made covenant with the choosing. And if you look at that place in uh, Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 2, he said, I watch this, I hasten him, I walk to perform it. You see, God will fulfill the promises. I say God will fulfill the promises. So whatever you need, chosen people, whatever you need in this life, the promises of God covers them. How many of you believe? Whatsoever you need in this life, from A to Z. I say the promise of God does what? Cover them. And I will show you what to do. You need to find what is written concerning you. And lay hold and ask for it. Claim it. God will give it to you. In fact, in the book of Philippians chapter 4 verse 19, God said, but my God, the scripture says, but my God shall supply all our needs according to his riches in glory by Christ. My friend, how many needs? Is it not clear that everything you are looking for, that God has promised to give it to you? Can God lie? Can God utter his word? Can God change? Brendan, please answer me. You see, the problem many of you are having, please listen to me very well, is unfaithfulness, is insincerity, is disobedience, is stubbornness, is sin. You have an appointment with God by 8 o'clock, you are coming by 11 and 12. My friends, that is breaking God's covenant. And if you break the covenant, you can't ask God for fear your covenant. Now listen to me. Some of you, you don't obey the word of God. You don't do the will of God. And uh, you want God to also fulfill his word. My friend, listen to me. Agreement is fulfill your part. I will do what? 
I'm not hearing you. For fear you are part of the agreement, I will fulfill my part because it is two persons that enters into covenant. Therefore, if you fail to fulfill your part, that is your problem. That's why you are suffering. That's why you are sick. That's why the promise of God is not working for you. But this promise of God, I want to let you know, heaven and earth shall pass away. It can never pass away. It must be fulfilled. So many of you have refused to live righteous life, holy life, and you're asking God, bless me, bless me, answer me. And you have not kept your part of covenant. And so, I want to let you know, God watches over his word to do all. At the same time, he provides the covenant he entered your own part. Remember, when God called Abraham, he said, come out of what? Your kindred, your father's house, your country, a place I'll show you. If Abraham refused to go, will he enter into the promises? Will he, will he be blessed? All right. That is your problem. God has made a promise. And many of you refuse to do your part. And you want God to bless you? You want God to answer your prayers? You must change your mind so that this coming program, you must begin to realize the promise of God in your life in Jesus' name. <laughs> Have I not told you that the promise of God covers all your needs? You don't need to suffer. You don't need to struggle. You don't need to be running up and down like unbelievers. Unbelievers can suffer, they can struggle, but you, whatever you have after you are born again, is a gift of God and is by miracle. You don't understand what I'm saying. Paul the apostle said, By the grace of God, I am what I am. After you are born again, you live by grace. You're not living by struggle anymore. Well, let me rush through, rush through the flowing. As we go on, please pay attention. I want to, as I want to take note. Today, God of choosing will bless you as you keep to the covenant and fulfill His promises in this oncoming program. And I want you to understand: if you are among those that say, um, "God, God of choosing, will you fulfill your your covenant, which are made to the chosen one?" Do you know what God is telling you today? I'm asking you a question. Now, look at the book of Isaiah chapter 7. Isaiah chapter 7. Maybe you are saying, uh, how can you do it? How can you fulfill it? How can you? Look at what God is telling you. If you are among those that are asking God, how can you fulfill this promise? Look at what God is telling you in today's program. The book of Isaiah, please, all those outside, please allow them to come into the hall. Stop directing them up and down. All church, please take away from the person directing them. Ask people to come into the hall. Praise the Lord. Isaiah chapter 7. The Lord is the one that brought them here. Don't send them away. The Lord has something to do for you. In this program today, I am very, very sure. In Isaiah chapter 7, Isaiah, I read chapter 7 and verse 11. As the sign of the Lord thy God. You know that he say, Holy God, fulfill the covenant. What is God telling you? Sister, please, what is God telling you? You are saying, will he go fulfill the covenant? Will he go fulfill his promises? Do you know what God is telling you? Ask for a sign. Ask for a sign that God will heal you. Ask for a sign that God will give you a husband or wife or children. Ask for God. Ask for a sign that God will fight for you. Ask for a sign. The man he told before was afraid, but God said, whether you are afraid, what I said, I will do it. In chapter 7, I read verse 11, as the sign of the Lord thy God, as it either in the depths or in the height above. 
But I had said what? I will not ask, neither will I tempt the Lord. And he said, Hear ye now, O ye house of David, is it a small thing for you to weary men? But will you weary my God also? Therefore, the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Whether you ask for a sign or not, whether you are running away from asking a sign, God will give you a sign in this day program that is the covenant keeping God. Come on 30 and that first. God will prove to you that God is the promise keeping God. But if you are doubt, he said, I will give you a sign. He see it today. God will give you a sign. Amen. I don't know what they are going through. God said, even if you say, I will not ask a sign, I will give you a sign. And so, in this message, let me run through the flows of headings. One, the reasons and the examples. Two, our expected response and the benefit. Now, point number one, the reasons and example. As the Easter program is drawing very close, we need to understand that our God is the covenant keeping God. Remember, he said, my covenant I will not break. That means he will keep his covenant. Am I right? According to the book of uh, Psalm 89, verse 33 to 34, and verse 3, he said, I will, not keep, I will not break my covenant. I will not utter my word. What I said, I will do it. Praise the Lord. So, take note. Everyone must take the oncoming program very serious. Is this, this coming program, take it what? Very serious. Because it is a, a great time with God. When God is going to renew the covenant that he has made to us. So that every one of us will begin to benefit from that covenant. So, we must take the program very serious. No one should make excuses or excuses. No one should come late in this coming program. No one should miss the first day. Remember, God has nothing to do with the first. You must give God, number one, priority. So, nobody must miss the first day or even attempt to miss the second day. There is no excuse because whatever you are looking for outside there, God has it for you. Come that program. All the promise of God covers all your needs. If you look at the book of Luke chapter 14, Luke chapter 14, I read from verse Luke 14 from verse 17. Please open your Bible. Let's read. 14 from verse 17. And it reads, Look at your Bible. And he sent his servant at the supper time to say to them that were being come. For all things are now ready. How many things are ready? How many things are ready in the Easter program? All things are now ready. Have I not told you that the promise of God covers all we are looking for? Now, he said, come, all things are now ready. Let us see how the people that he called and told them what is already. Let's see how they reacted. Let's see whether they said, okay, we will come, we will come, we are coming. And find out chapter 14 and verse 6, verse 18. And look at it. And they all with one consent began to make a school. Can you imagine? All of them began to do what? Make a, let us find out about whether the excuse is excusable, whether it's reasonable. Look at that place. And this all with one constant began to make a school. The first said, look at it. I have bought a piece of ground and I must need go and see it. I pray they have me a school. He went away. He bought how many pieces of ground? Answer me now. One piece of ground. And then he, the promises said, come. All things are now ready. He chose to take one thing. He chose to hold on one piece of land. 
99% of the things still waiting for him. Is that the school's reasonable? My sisters and brothers, is the school's reasonable? Somebody will call, come and take all things. He said, I bought a piece of land. Is it not a, you know, a school that is made without knowledge? Now, look at it again. Look at it again. It's chapter 14. Look chapter 14. Let nobody be like this man. Are you here with, let nobody be like these people. That is lack of what? Knowledge. And I pray it shall never be your portion. Chapter 14 and verse 19. And another said what? I have bought five yoke of oxen. And I go to prove them. I pray they have me. Excuse. Is it my wise? 110. He said, I bought a five yoke of oxen. Now, if you look at that place again, and Nona said, I have married a wife. Mm -hmm. And therefore, what happened? I cannot come. I married a wife out of 110. Or 110 they're giving to you. You took only a wife. No money, no house, no, no nothing. You just took a wife. And you cannot come. My friend, their excuse is unreasonable. Let it not be that you or any member of my family or all the people around you will make excuses and say, I will not come. My friend, the person will look losing a lot of things. Come. How many things are ready? All things are now ready. Easter program, I want you to understand whatever you are looking for is available for you. Is ready for you. Come and take them free of charge. Will you come? Don't make excuses. Don't make light of the invitation. Come. Everything, everything is waiting for you. If you look at Luke chapter 19 and verse 41. Luke chapter 19. Please open your Bible. Let's read. Chapter 19, verse 41. And when he was come near, he beheld the city, city of Jerusalem. What happened? And wept over it. Why was Jesus weeping for Jerusalem? Who can tell me? They don't know the time of their visitation and prepare and ready to receive whatever they are looking for because they were careless and they do not understand what belongs to them. They started doing what the Lord started doing what weeping over them, their poverty, their lack of knowledge. The Lord was weeping. And look at what the Lord said. Look at it, please. Look at that place. And said in verse 42. And I say, if thou hast known, even thou, at least in this thy day, the things which belong unto thy peace, but now they are hid from thy eyes. For the days shall come upon thee, and thy enemy shall cast a threat about thee, and compass thee round, and keep thee in the in the in on every side, and shall lay thee even with the ground, and thy children within thee, and they shall not live in thee, one stone upon another, because thou knowest not the time of thy visitation. Instead of taking advantage of the time of your visitation by grace and as an escape, you'll be waiting when the Antichrist will come when that grace would have gone and they would deal with those people and deal with them ruthlessly. And he said, You don't know your visitation, that's why you cannot make a, a escape and repent and amend your ways. So, I want you to understand. This is the time of your visitation. Do you hear me? Whatever you are looking for is now ready. In Hosea chapter 4 verse 6, Hosea chapter 4 verse 6, he said, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. In Daniel chapter 11 verse 32, he said, those that do know their God, they shall be strong and do as well. If you have knowledge of what belongs to you, what God has for you, you will be strong. You possess your possessions. Therefore, avoid lack of knowledge. Every promise God has made with us or made to us must be fulfilled. Will it be fulfilled? 
promises of God must be fulfilled. And the example about the Lord said for the Israelites, He said in Exodus chapter 6, let's read it. Let's read Exodus chapter 6. We read it before. Let's read it again. Exodus chapter 6. I read from verse 6. Chapter 3, please. Exodus chapter 3 from verse 6. And he says, chapter 3, verse 6. Moreover, he said, I am the Lord. I am the God of thy fathers. Take note. I am the Lord of thy father. I am the God of thy father. The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. And when and Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look upon God. And the Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people, which are in Egypt. I have heard their cry by the reason of the past mothers. For I know their sorrows, and I have come down to do all. Let me ask you a question. Did he deliver them? God made a promise. I saw what they are passing through. I'm come to deliver you as a matter of covenant and promise. Did he deliver them? Yes. Brethren, the promise God made to you will be fulfilled. Yes. It will meet all your needs. Yes. It will heal you. Yes. It will deliver you. Yes. It will fight for you. Yes. He will make a way where there's no way for you in Jesus' name. Yes. Now look at it. He said in Matthew chapter 16, verse 18, I will build my church. What happened? The gates of hell shall not prevail against it. I want to ask you a question. Do you believe that the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church? Yes. Upon all that the persecutor did that against all the um, apostles and the, uh, against Jesus, against the children of God in time past, did they stop the church? Even the persecution you, the chosen people had from one person to the other from 2010 or 2006 to 2013, everybody was talking, everyone was talking. Did he prevail against the church? Please answer me now. From, from, from Linda to Juliet to this person to that person everyone talking against the choosing because of contentions and envy and because of trying to establish uh, they are, you know whatever they are doing and they want to use choosing to advertise themselves but the point is this did they prevail? I will build my church in fact at that time let me tell you something and that time of those persecution, they said we will never come to Adamawa State. Uh, uh, that we can never come there. If they will come, they know that whatever we you know they said they said a lot of things. We will never come to I want to ask you a question. Did we go to Adamawa State? <laughs> How many of you knew what happened in Adamawa State? <laughs> in Adamawa State, everybody, including the number one person in Adamawa State. Bow down before the God of Jesus. Man down. Everybody in Alabama State. They say, we will not come. Let us come now. Let us come and see. They say, we will not come. And he said, I will build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Come that day. Everybody from governor to the least of the people. Everybody came to the crusade. And there was great. Oh my God. You see power in oppression. My friend, my friend, you know, the Lord choosing something is not imagination. It's, it's, it's very, very apparent. If we come to your side, you will know there is God. Because I can't come near you. I will stay where I am. You will see God doing, you will see power moving up and down. Look at him. Praise the Lord. And when everybody saw it in Adamawa State, they bow. I want to let you know. I will build my church. What happened? God's word must surely come to pass. If you believe it, say amen. 
Now, pay attention. This is the time God said, come on 30 and 31st. We want to renew the covenant. These promises are made. I want us to renew them. Review them. Remind me of them. Praise the Lord. So, all that God said, he watches over it to do what? To perform it. He see you. There is something God said concerning you. And it has not been fulfilled, but it must be fulfilled. Whether the devil, demon, human agent like it or not, the counsel of the Lord. That child stand. Do you believe it? I want you to understand God has something to do with me. I don't know about you. <laughs> I said God has something to do with me. And what God has to do with me, he will finish the work. If you believe it, say amen. The case of hell shall not prevail. Let somebody say amen to that. Yeah. Remember, the covenant he has with Abraham, did he fulfill it? I'm asking you a question. What about with the Israelites? What about with Moses? He made the covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He fulfilled it. He made the covenant with Noah and Moses. David and the Israelites and the Lord had made covenant with us. I'm assuring you all the promises all the promises that covenant entered with them, he fulfilled them at the same time. He will fulfill the promises he made to us from beginning to the end of this ministry everything God said he will bring it to pass. If you believe it, say Amen. Now if you look at your Bible in the book of Exodus again. Exodus, let's read. Exodus chapter 6. And I read. Exodus. Look at your Bible. I want to let you know. God Almighty is a being. He wants us to remind him. And he will, this time around, he said to remember every covenant he entered with the chosen people. Chapter 6, I read verse 5. And I have also heard the groaning of the children of Israel, whom the Egyptians kept keep in what? What happened? What happened? And I have remembered my covenant that settles it. He see this Easter retreat, God will remember the covenant he entered with you. And you are family with the choosing people in Jesus' name. And what God remember, count it what? I'm not hearing you. He see you, some of us that are here, some of you, some of us, God will make a new covenant with you. Yeah. How many of you believe it? In Jeremiah chapter 31 verse 31. He sees some of you that are walking and living in life without any promise that covers you. Come 30, 30 and 31. Please look at the Bible. Jeremiah chapter 31. I read verse 31. He sees you. Something new is coming your way. And that could be who? Who? Who is that person? Who? Oh yeah, don't say you, say pastor. Good. Did you hear me? Chapter 31 of Jeremiah verse 31. And he said, Behold, the days come, say the Lord, that I will make what? With the house of Israel and the house of Judah, he see a day, the day shall come, thirty and thirty first. A new covenant is coming your way. A new covenant is coming over your life. 
God will make a new covenant with the chosen in Jesus' name. Don't forget, in Malachi chapter 3, verse 6, he said, For I am God, I change not. Has he changed? He can't change because of you, because of your need. He said, For I am God, I change not. In Hebrews chapter 13, verse 8, he said, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. What he did in the Bible, he will do it today. Because he is the same forever. In Isaiah chapter 55, verse 10, Isaiah. Let's read it again. We read it before. Let's read it because of the import in this message. 55. Read it, verse 10. Look at your Bible. As the rain, for as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth and make it bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me word void. But it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I send it. You see, whatever God said concerning you, it shall prosper. It shall be fulfilled. It shall come to pass. I don't know what they are going through. He see you from now to the thirty and thirty first. God will enter a new covenant with you. He will make impossibility to become possible in your life in Jesus' name. If you look at this place in the book of um, Psalm 89, verse 3, he said, I have made covenant with my people. Which people? I didn't hear you. I have made covenant with my choosing. Oh, thank God. I have covenant with God. I am a covenant child of God. You see, this covenant shall be fulfilled. If you believe it, say amen. And he said, My covenant will I not break. I'm happy. I'm dealing with the faithful God who cannot lie, who can do and undo, who has promised me, and he will fulfill the word. He see you, God will fulfill the word. He said in Matthew 24, 24, chapter 24, please, 24, and verse 35. Heaven and earth shall pass away. What happened? What God promised you can never go unfulfilled. If you believe it, say amen. So we all must come to renew our covenant in this oncoming program. For the children of God in time past, sometimes they will go to renew their relationship with God. Now look at this place. In 1 Samuel chapter 11 verse 14. 1 Samuel chapter 11. Sometimes they go to renew covenant, renew their relationship with God. In 1 Samuel chapter 11 and verse 14. Please open your Bible. Let's read chapter 11 verse 14. Then said Samuel to the people, Come, let us go to where? Giga. And renew the covenant, the kingdom there. They went to renew the kingdom in Giga. Now listen to me. We shall go up to the mountain of the Lord, on top of the mountain, on 30 and 31st, to renew what? The covenant. Are you hearing me? As Samuel and his people went to Giga to renew the kingdom, we shall be here on 30 and 31st to renew the new world. I, I'm not here. Are you sleeping? What are we going to renew? So, no one should isolate what God is about to do. There are some people that they are that the type of nature they have, they always look down on everything, and that is their problem. That's why they're suffering, that's why they're limited, that's why they're poor. He don't limit God. When God says I will do a thing, He will do it. Are you hearing me? When God says I will do a thing, my friend begin to jubilate, begin to rejoice, begin to, in fact, begin to dance. Because God is not a man, He cannot lie. He has all the resources. He has the power. He has whatever it takes to bless his people. He see you. 
Let me put it on your head. God will bless you this time. Say so back to sender. Did you hear what I said? I said I put it on your head. Even if you are running, God will bless you this time. Spiritually, physically, materially, financially. In fact, God will bless me too. Not, not only you, not only you. I'm not going to be, uh, I don't know how to say it. God will bless me too. Because this is a time which I renew our covenant. And I'm going to remind my daddy. Isaiah chapter 6, you said it to me, it must surely come to pass. And I'll be happy. I'll be happy. I'll be jubilated. You said to me, Isaiah chapter 6, to, this will happen to me. This, I said, this is the time. Oh yeah, bring it to pass. And wait, you know, bring all of them. And it must come to In fact, before that day, the yoke will break. I, I, I don't know. I have, I have covenants that I made with God, God made with me and they, I know what to do and I'm going to draw from it this time because it's a time to renew what? I'm not hearing you. Are you getting tired so I can round up? You know, I can round up in introduction. I can round up in first section. I can round it up in the second section. It's when I look at you, how you are, as you are looking. If I look at you, you are not looking well. I round up introduction. If you are looking somehow weak, I can run up a first, first point. If you are healthy, I will take you to the second point. Can I hear you say amen? All I know is this is a good day. And I can see my people jubilating home. You know, our relationship with God is not by struggle. The only thing you need to endeavor to do is to know what God said. Are you hearing me? It's not about pray, pray, pray. Just understand what God said and then ask something in a very short way. Because listening to you say, you shall know the truth. I'm not hearing you. And he said, those that do know their God. So it's about knowledge, understanding what God said, the ways of God, the will of God, and the promises of God, and then lay hold, and the righteous God will bring it all pass. He see you. Before I finish this message, <laughs> many of you will be jubilating. Because you are going home with something. You didn't come here for sure. He didn't come here for all the, you know, all the religious observances and sacrifices. I'm here to give you the truth. Are you hearing me? You shall know the truth. And the truth. There are people that go for religious observances and sacrifices. And they go for a candle and the, and the, and I want to let you know they remain in their bondage. But you, and liberating you from your bondage. Do you believe it? So, are you getting ready? Do you want me to move to second point? I can see that you are very much alive. But what about the heat? I'm asking you a question. What about the heat? You can handle heat. All right, all right, all right. He see you. By this joy you have in you, my spirit is moved to say, I bless you. And you know that my blessing cancel your poverty, cancel your sickness, cancel your affliction, cancel your trouble, cancel your limitation. So no one should isolate what God is about to do. In Revelation 22 verse 17. Revelation 22 
I read by 17. Look at your Bible. Revelation 22 from verse 17. And I read. And the spirit and the bride say, What? Come. And let him that hear it say, What? Come. And let him that is a test, do what? Come. And whosoever we let him take the water of life freely. Blessing will follow you freely. Healing freely. Deliverance freely. Promotion freely. Children freely. Blessing freely. I don't know what you are looking for free of charge. You can never live here the same. Whether your enemy like it or not. Remember, I will build my church. Complete it. And that is where I'm standing. Because I know who has spoken. He is almighty, all powerful, the omnipotent Jehovah, the Alpha and Omega, the first and the last, the Holy One of Israel, the one mightier than all, the God of the chosen people, the one has power to do this or that. Ezekiel chapter 34 Ezekiel chapter 34 and I read look at your Bible verse 25 and it says and that is for me and for you what is it and he said verse 25 Ezekiel 34 verse 25 and now we make with them a covenant of peace I will cause the evil beast that is causing all the killing and kidnapping and all the evil in Nigeria. The evil what? Evil beast. I will cause it to cease out of the land. And the witch shall dwell safely in this wilderness of this world and sleep in the wood. And I will make them and the blessed run about my hill world. Blessing, and I will cause the showers to do what to come down in his season. And there shall be war, there shall be shower of bliss. It is the promise of God, there shall be season with praise. Save from the Savior above Oh, child, oh, I so blessed Child, so blessed Will we Mess it from Round God, so holy But for the showers we plead a big amen for that. Come 30 and 31st. If you are running away and you are under this rain, your body will be soaked. The blessings of God will wait to your body. I am sure. I am sure. In fact, somebody here, before this program, you will give a very great testimony. I am the one who <laughs> I am the one You mean you are also among them? <laughs> it, it, it see you Before the Easter program You will be shouting God is it how you are? Is it how you are? Is it how you are? Well, if you don't know the person, look at me. <laughs> Do you know the person? <laughs> okay, you. <laughs> uh, I, well, if you are the one, your testimony is my testimony. 
if God has blessed you mightily, also I will be uh, rejoiced because you are my children. As God blesses you, blesses my children, He has blessed me too. Ah, uh, didn't you see a man who said here that God gave His son um, uh, two flat of uh, in the lake for sixty million naira? Is not the son testifying? Is the is the father because the blessing of the son is the blessing of what? Your blessing is my blessing. Yeah. Your testimony is my testimony. Yeah. Can somebody say amen? He yeah. see you, whether you or me, before this program, you will shout. Yeah. Some of you will be looking for opportunity to come and meet me. I say, Pastor, it has happened. It has happened. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There shall be season with fresh from the Savior. Let me round up. Praise the Lord. We are looking at our expected response and the benefits. Knowing fully that our Father is the covenant keeping God, everyone should come with all our household, all our friends and relations. We must come in the oncoming program on 30 and 31st. We should not toy with this program because God is said to renew our covenant. The covenant of peace and blessing. As the David and Israel renew the kingdom and Samuel renew the kingdom. So we are going to renew our covenant. We must invite others to come we must invite them to come with expectations. Whatever they are looking for, spiritually, physically, materially, financially, academically, let them come with what? Expectation. That God will fulfill his promises he has made to humanity, to church, to us in the holy scriptures. Are there promises like that? Yes, God has made promises. The, the Holy Scripture is full of what? Promises of God. That's why you should not suffer. Promises of God from Genesis to Revelation. Promises upon what? Promises. He said in somewhere Deuteronomy, he said, all this blessing will come upon you and overtake you. That is Deuteronomy 22, verse 1 and 2. And even to 13, all these plans, he said, you shall be the head and not the tail. Whatever lay a hand upon it shall prosper. Blessing will fall as you go out. Blessing will fall as you come in. So all these blessings will come upon you and do all. Therefore, I'm assuring you that the promises feed the scriptures. From Genesis, we have a lot of what? Promises. And these promises must be fulfilled. He said, there shall be showers of oh, blessing. And also he said, I will hasten my word to do what? To perform it. So everyone must come to remind God of all what? All his promises he has made to us to fulfill them in your life. Remember Isaiah chapter 60, verse 1 to 22. I'm not reading and then look at Isaiah chapter 43. Isaiah 43. And I read Isaiah chapter 43. Look at the Bible. And it reads, 
verse 26. What did the Lord say? Please read it and explain. What did the Lord said, Isaiah 43, verse 26. Uh, are you there? Isaiah 43, verse 26. What did he say? Uh -huh. What are you going to put in remembrance? His word, his covenant, his promises. Put me in remembrance. And let us plead together. Declare that, that thou mayest be justified. Whatever you remind God or promise he made to you in this program, God will bring it to pass. God has made a promise. He said, God shall supply all your needs. Whatever you lay your hands upon, it shall prosper. Anywhere the soul of your future turn upon, that have I given unto you. That shall no man be able to stand before you all the days of your life. Touch not my anointed, do my prophet. No, by strife, I am healed. And I'm the Lord that healed thee. And the God shall supply all your needs. In fact, all these promises belong to somebody. Belongs to me. From Genesis to Revelation. No one should come late. Late coming is sin. And the breaking covenant. That is obedient. Are you hearing me? God will bless you and fight for you. When your obedience is what? For feed. So, no one should come late or come alone. Don't come alone. If you know what God is about to do for humanity, bring them to God. We should invite others to the program. Invite sinners. Those have sinful habits. Those that are backsliders. Invite the prostitute. Drug addicts. Invite the barren. Those that are having delay in marriage. Those that are poor and unemployed. Those that are having stagnancy in life. Invite them. Invite those who have a rising and falling. Those that are on that course in their family and nothing is working. Invite the blind, the deaf, and the dumb. The paralyzed, those that have stroke, those that have kidney, heart problem, liver problem, those that are insane. Invite them to come. Those that are going terrible things in life, sickness that has no name. Invite them to come. Those that possess, those that have been oppressed, those that are bound, those that every night they will feeding them and couple words, and then they have been oppressed, they are walking naked, they are walking in the bush, they are walking in the old house, and they are suffering. Bring them to come. Are you hearing me? Those that front nowhere, back nowhere, right nowhere, struggling. Nothing is working for them. My friend, bring them. When the world comes forth, they shall be liberated. Can I hear you say amen? amen. The Bible says he sent forth his word. What happened? And his word hid them. As they come, invite how many people? Everybody to come. We should invite all to come. For God is said to fulfill his promises or covenant and will answer all our in fact, God will answer your prayers. Yeah. Let me be more direct to you. You, God will answer your prayers. Yeah. Sir, please say the same thing for me, to me. God will answer my prayers. Yeah. I'm happy. God will answer my prayers. Is it not a joyful thing? The other day, that was two days ago, our pastor, we gathered together. And that day, was it three days or two days? The, the, the weather was terrible. The sun was, the heat was terrible. And then we said, God Almighty, please change this weather. Give us good weather. Now many people are suffering. Now we need the good weather. We need the situation to change. Do you know after that prayer, it didn't take three, three hours or two hours, rain started falling. And there was no any sign of rain. I, I want to let you know, 
That is, and everywhere was cool. People slept very well, no heat. My friend, answers of prayer is a blessing. Are you hearing me? So there rain will fall in your life. Rain of blessings, rain of miracle, rain of favor, rain of healing, rain of deliverance, rain of promotion. I'm going to hear your testimony. So get ready. You in John chapter 14, verse 13. Please open your Bible. Let's read. John 14 and verse 13. And I read. And whatsoever you shall ask in my name, what happened? That will I do. That the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you shall ask anything in my name, what happened? I will do it. Please, this is truth. And whatever you ask today, in fact, Philippians chapter 4, verse 9 said, but my God, God shall supply all your needs. I call it to reach his glory by Christ Jesus. Today God will supply. He said, put to me in remembrance. And today, ask for a sign that this very Easter program that God is said to renew his covenant of peace, long life, and blessing for the chosen one. Ask for a sign. Are you hearing me? And as you ask for a sign, this God will bring it to pass. He will bless you. He will meet all your need in Jesus' name. He said in Matthew chapter 7, verse 7, ask, it shall be given to you. Seek, and you shall knock, and the door shall be opened to you for everyone that asketh. I don't know you what you are looking for, what you want to ask for, a sign that God will renew the covenant come 30 and 31st. As we are going to pray, ask that thing for God. Say, do this thing for me so I can testify on that day. Heal me, give me employment, give me visa, give me citizenship, give me connection. Lord, give me victory. Lord, make way where there is no way for me. Lord, bless me. If you will ask anything, God will do it. So, I want to bid you, all the workers that are here today, this message is to you. All our newcomers, this message is to you. That's why, because on Saturday, we are not going to gather here. We are going to go to Navy Town for a crusade. So, that's why we said all the workers should come. But unfortunately, many of them went to business today because if all our workers are here, the whole of this hall from either end cannot contain us. So, but then, as many of you that are here, let us make sure, as we are not going to pray, we don't have a message on Saturday, let us take advantage of this ministration and move into action. Inviting everyone. Bus to bus evangelism, person to person evangelism, and uh, you know, morning cry and evening cry, wearing your apron, and they going everywhere. In fact, taking a school from the place of work, fasting and praying six to six, and everything we can do and come out for you know, beginning from uh, Sunday, Monday, even today. Let us go for publicity. Are you hearing me? Let us make banner, print banner, put posters, whatever you can do to make this crusade a reality, a blessing to humanity. Come, the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. Invite all to come. If you are late to make pledges, that's on your own. Anything you want to do, you do them with a good heart. For me, I want to say, if it is possible, we will not be making pledges again. All I want you to understand is, I want you to be blessed so that you can do whatever you want to do joyfully and freely without persuasion. You see you. As I round up now, the word I'm going to tell you is, come to Easter program. 
on 30 and 34, let us renew our covenant of blessings and peace and long life with God and with our blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Will you come? Will your household come? Will you bring your friend to come? Will you bring any people around you to come? Covenant of peace and bless. Mm, covenant of peace. Covenant of blessing. Covenant of peace and blessing. God. Covenant of peace and bless. Of our the choosing. That shall be your portion. Remember that this year program is coming with a different way. In fact, that day, the team says God's covenant of peace and blessing. But I'm going to talk to you under that team, the power of abundance. And I'm being frank to you. That will change your entire life. What do I call it? Power of abundance under that team. God's covenant of peace and bless. And after that program, you shall be a blessing to humanity. Yeah. Say it again. Yeah. Say it again. Yeah. Rise up on your feet. Tell the Lord, I will come. Give me grace to come. And tell the Lord, I need this sign. I need this. I need that. Open your mouth and pray. Everybody pray. Rise up and pray. Rise up and pray. Everybody pray. Everybody pray. Call upon him. O oh Lord, remember me. Bless me. Visit me. Lord, I pray. O oh Lord, this time around, give me a sign. Everybody pray. Everybody pray. The Lord is set for great events. Great events. Covenant of peace and blessings. The Lord is set. The Lord is very, very set to do wonders. To bless you, to visit you, to fight for you, to make a way where there's no way. He is it. He is it. He is it. The Lord is it. Oh Lord, remember me. Visit me. Bless me, oh Lord. Meet my needs. Not supply my needs. Fight for me. Make a way for me. The Lord do miracle to me. Lord, I pray. Remember me for good. Everybody pray. Everybody, everybody. Tell the Lord, this is what I want you to do for me. The Lord said, if you don't really ask for a sign, the Lord will visit you. The Lord will transform you. The Lord will favor you. The Lord will fight for you. The Lord will visit you. Everybody pray. Lord, arise, O Lord. Leka Perusia, Raka Rama, Raka Zuvia, Jelove Karusia, in November power. Everybody pray. O Lord, glorify your name. Give us that sign, Lord, give us a need. Praise over Cassandra. In Jesus' 
name who prays. My daddy, you are God and not a man. All these brethren that are asking you for a sign that you will do what you said and those who refuse to ask for sign, every one of us give us a sign. Lord, the sign we are asking that whatever problem that your people brought here today, Lord, as a matter of sign, let that problem be cancelled. I pray for that woman that something is hooking you. As you want to breathe, you don't breathe down. I cause the evil. And you, that every time you are fighting in the dream, fighting with unknown forces, Father, give this person deliverance. <laughs> you having disappointment in marriage, and you that a strange woman has taken over your marriage, I break the yoke. <laughs> Let the disappointment be cancelled. Let the strange woman be uprooted in Jesus' name. That person that has stomach pains, in the name of Jesus, receive healing. And you that cannot go to toilet, I break the yoke I give you from now to this evening, be loose and be free. The heart that is having pains, the heart enlargement be healed. That shortness of blood, I command the blood to be filled. The one that have ratchets in your body, I cause the evil ratchets. And I command that neck that is attacked be healed. Staphylococcus be healed. HIV be healed in Jesus name that cancer prostate cancer breast cancer and lung cancer be healed in Jesus name and I pray that brain tumor be healed that person that be asking for favor you need favor in life in fact you need favor and in fact, your case has reached this altar. Today, that yoke is broken. I release favor from heaven. Oh yeah. He, Holy Ghost, he, that person favor. somebody here what you are going to experience now a physical hand though invisible will hit you yeah. Holy Ghost give that person a sign watch out watch out it's going to be divers, divers, diver, left, front, right, front. Any person asking for favor, in the name of Jesus, receive favor. Your man, let your way be open. That fear you have been having, I cancel that fear. <laughs> that dream that usually come whenever good thing is coming, I crush that dream. <laughs> In the name of Jesus, I connect you. 
I connect you. Woman, I connect you. My daddy, from this day, every one of them that is saying, Lord, I need a sign or I don't need a sign. In the name of Jesus, receive sign. I pray for financial favor. I pray for favor of miracle employment. I pray for favor of promotion. I pray for victory in that battle. Daddy, let the evil landlord pack away. I cancel that quick notice for you. That people troubling you because you are owing them. I cancel that debt in Jesus' name. My daddy, everyone that is stepping into this place today, give them a sign. I pray for somebody. Miracle. Miracle a lot. Somebody, you are own miracle. You'll be wondering that so you are the one that is blessed like this. You are the one that's blessed with billions, with millions, millions of dollars, millions, billions of naira. Oh Lord, we receive it from heaven in Jesus' name. I call for intervention. I call for deliverance. I call for visitation. Lord, intervene in Jesus' name. All those blockages you have been experiencing, by the authority in the name of Jesus, I clear all of them. I launch you into favor, into blessings, into miracles into deliverance, into promotion. My daddy, I pray for these ones, all their business that have been suffering. Today, let the business be revived. Let there be visitations. My daddy, whatever problem that this woman has been going through, at the hand of a very wicked person, deliver that woman today. And I command that wicked wish to confess. Can I hear you say amen? A great miracle. A great miracle. A great miracle. Now listen to me. That enemy will not sleep again until he confesses the evil. Say amen. My daddy, I pray for miracle visa for somebody. Miracle citizenship. Miracle permanent stay. Lord, intervene in Jesus' name. I command whatever they have buried where you are, you don't know. I command thunder to remove that evil. That is favor this person. All those property you cannot say, let them be sold. That property business. I command that to go in Jesus' name. My daddy, remember them for good. That child has been having terrible hotness about be healed. Let the loss of appetite be healed in Jesus' name. That police case for somebody, the level against you, I cancel it. Father, give them victory in Jesus' name. Bless everyone. Give them a sign. 
Lord, give them connections. Give them contracts. Give them promotion. Can I hear you say amen? Do you believe God has done something for you? If you brought any person that cannot walk, any person that have blindness, death or no, paralysis, go near the person. Any person that cannot walk, have stroke, go near the person. That person that cannot see your period, I give you 24 hours, begin to see your period. That diabetes at high sugar level, I cancel it for you. And I pray all those who cannot walk, rise up now. Rise up and walk in Jesus' name. Broken bone, join together. Broken bone, join together. Spinal cord injury, be healed. Rise up. Make a move. Rise up. Rise up. Rise up and walk in Jesus' name. Drop your crutches, your stick. Begin to come in the front. You can run. You can run. All the damaged bone. All the damaged bone. Be healed in Jesus' name. Yes, yes, yes. I can see a miracle. I can see a miracle. Come in the front. Come in the front. Come in the front. Rise up and walk. Rise up and walk. You are here. You are here. You are here. You are here. I cancel stroke. I cancel leg poison. I cancel leg poison. I cancel leg poison. I cancel stroke. I cancel diabetes. Be healed in Jesus' name. Now, I can see somebody walking. Another person there. I command you rise up and walk in Jesus' name. Come in the front, come in the front. Right from that wheelchair, right from that wheelchair, drop your crutches, drop your walking stick. I say, walk now, walk now, walk now, walk now, walk now. Or just look around you. Anybody sitting down, rise up now, rise up now, rise up now. Rise up now. Let the power, the power, the power of the Most High, let Karazin Jenia rise up and walk in Jesus' name. Just keep on walking, keep on walking, keep on walking. If I bind sweat, sweet or cripple, sweet or paralysis, I bind the power, I cast it abyss in Jesus' name. Rise up and walk, rise up and walk wherever you are. I break the yoke of paralysis or stroke. All those that are deaf or dumb, deaf or dumb, I cancel deaf and dumb. Begin to hear, begin to speak in Jesus' name. I command their ear be open, your mouth be loose, uh, your mouth be open, your ear be loose. Those that have madness, I cancel madness. I command their senses come back to normal in Jesus' name. And I pray for as many that are, you know, over the period you cannot use their body. I command all those weakness disappear. Kidney problem be healed. Kidney problem be healed. Receive brand new kidney in Jesus' name. Blindness, partial, total glaucoma, be cancelled. Let your eyes be open in Jesus' name. I command that child to begin to walk now in Jesus' name. I command that person come back to life in Jesus' name. Every swelling body, I command you to deflate. Swelling body deflate. All the swelling body deflate. Receive new heart, new kidney, new immune system, new liver. Receive brand new organ in Jesus' name. Every damaged organ. I can't sow epilepsy. I can't sow pie. I can't sow hyena. Receive brand new body in Jesus' name. If you brought any person deaf and dumb, test the person. Say one, two, three, four. You are healed. Blind person, open your eyes. Glaucoma is here. Cataract, you are here. I command every 
every form of blindness be healed in Jesus' name. Stammering tongue be loose. Deaf and dumb be healed. Wherever you are, I command freedom for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Child, amen. amen. Shout it again. Amen. One more time. Amen. Oh, yeah. Check your body. That waist pain is healed. That neck problem is healed. That goiter is healed. That breathing, that asthmatic cough, dry cough is healed. Receive freedom in Jesus' name. Check them, check them, bring them out. They'll give you a testimony. Death and dawn. You are healed. Blindness, you are healed. madness, you are healed. The first testifier. Bring them out, bring them out, bring them out. Take that person you brought, you will see a miracle. Shake the eyes, shake the brain, shake the system, bring them out. And as you are shaking them, also be getting ready for your, uh, your offering, your tight. Now, I, I can see somebody walking the cloud for Jesus, cloud for Jesus. You are here, you are here. The first step is the fire. Pastor, for the past three weeks, this is her sister because of kidney problem she couldn't stand she couldn't walk she was carried to this place by this brother but after your prayer where she was lying down she stood up and now she's walking again begin to clap for jesus clap for jesus clap for jesus a big clap offering to jesus we are Say thank you, Lord. We are saying thank you, Lord. Oh Lord, we are saying thank, thank you. you. The God of choosing, you are good. That kidney problem is healed. Amen. Receive two brand new kidney in Jesus' name. Amen. You are free. Then let's testify. Pastor, there is another miracle here on the podium. It's a man with a wife. Say, he's been suffering from cancer of lungs for seven years. He couldn't walk. But at the instant of your prayer, he said, Power hit him. Now strength had been restored. A man who couldn't walk perfectly, he can walk better now. Jesus. Walk, let's see. Can you walk now? My master Jesus for him. Master Holy Jesus. Jesus. My master Jesus. Jesus. My master Jesus. Jesus. Oh my master Holy Jesus. Jesus. Oh my master Holy Jesus. Holy Jesus. Jesus. My master Jesus. Oh my master Jesus. Oh my master Jesus. My master Jesus. Oh my master Jesus. Oh my master Jesus. Oh my master Jesus. Baby, clap offering to Jesus. You are here. The next testifier. Come Pastor, back. there's another miracle here. For the past three years, this our brother said he has been down. He could not walk. And today is the first time he's coming here. Pastor, after your prayer, he started walking again. A big clap offering to Jesus. The God can do this. No, no, choosing. Only you can do this. Hallelujah. Only God can do this. No, no, choosing. Only you can do this. Hallelujah. Only God can do this. No, no, no choosing. Only you can do this. Hallelujah. Only God can do this. No, no, choosing. Only you can do this. Hallelujah. Only God can do this. God are choosing. Only you can do this. Hallelujah. A big clap of faith to Jesus. You are here. You are free. You are free. Amen. Clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. Rise up on your feet. Keep your offering, your tight all. I want to pray for you. Heavenly Father.
Father. I see so many people that are not get prepared. Now give it up, Heavenly Father. We thank you for the tithe and offering and pledges. No one can give above you. As to give to you, sanctify them by the blood of Jesus. Father, give us beyond our expectations in Jesus' name. Bless everyone. In Jesus' powerful name we pray. Keep it all. Sing this song. Covenant keeping God. There is no one like thee. The God of choosing Father, there is no one. Amen. Oh, yes. The God of choosing Father. Amen. Oh, yes. Miracle worker. Amen. Oh, yes. Immortal redeemer. There is no one like Amen. Oh, yes. Miracle worker. Amen. Oh, yes. I am that I am. Amen. Oh, yes. You must not raise him up. That is no one like. Amen. Oh, yes. Amen. Oh, yes. He must have a demon. Oh, yes. He must have a demon. Amen. Oh, yes. There is no one Amen. Oh, yes. Amen. Mention seven prayer points. What you want God, want to remind God what he wants you to do. Keep your prayer request up, your hanky up, your hands up. Your pictures all are praying for you. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. In Jesus' name, we pray. Heavenly Father, everything that have lifted up from A to Z. Every request they have made, Father, it has been granted answers in Jesus' name. Amen. That person getting weaker and weaker, be revived, be healed, Amen. to come out of bed early in the morning become difficult. I lose you, I liberate you. Amen. Daddy, I pray for this person that cannot even pray again. Revive that person, restore that person, empower that person with spirit of supplication, intercession in Jesus' name. Somebody sitting on your money and refuse to pay you, I command that person from now to three days. I command that money to be paid in Jesus' name. That person that have somebody that sick at home, 
I cancel that paralysis let that baby heal in Jesus name abandon project no matter the difficulty I command it to finish bless that person in Jesus name that person hearing voices I command those evil voices to cease I pray for you tonight you will sleep like a baby all those evil dreams you see them no more in Jesus name that the bless this person let that expectation somebody you have been waiting for something very big and you are waited and waited and waited I command it to come to pass for 20 in next 24 hours in Jesus name and in fact within 24 hours it shall not pass from now to tomorrow to this night from now any moment you will hear a news can somebody say amen Daddy, I caused that fibroid. I caused that bleeding. Let it be healed in Jesus' name. For somebody here, I cancel sorrow of heart. I replace it with joy in Jesus' name. Daddy, all their hands. I pray for anointing that break all the yoke. That person, your husband doesn't understand you. I pray arrest that person. Lord, let there be peace in Jesus' name. My daddy, spiritually bless them. Physically bless them. Materially bless them. Financially bless them academically bless them Lord meet all their needs supply it in Jesus name from today let all the promises made for the church for all the brethren come to pass in Jesus name I pray for anointing that break all the yoke upon your hands, upon the hanky, anoint for signs and wonders and miracles in Jesus' name. Amen. Can I hear you say amen? amen. Say it again. Amen. One more time. Amen. It is amen in heaven. It is done. Take this information on Saturday. We are going to somewhere, all of us, all the members, to Navy Town, that great crusade. Come and the Lord will bless you. And remember, after the program, all will lead to Easter program 30 and 31st. You are covered with the blood of Jesus. Say amen. amen. Now I am blessed. Me, me. I am blessed. I am blessed. Ah, uh, you are blessed. Ah, uh, you and me. Everybody is what? I'm the God of choosing answer prayer. Oh, oh, mm 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 I said, I'm going to choose it and say, pray up. I said, I'm going to choose it and say, pray up. Oh, In our prayers, don't, mama, no mama, don't faint. 
The God the choose in us I pray. Don't mama, don't mama, don't faint. The God the choose in us I pray. Don't mama, don't faint. The God the choose in us I pray. Wow. We are waiting for you Saturday at Navy Town. Come and share your testimonies there. And let's make sure we come on time.